Well, I'm on a bit of a time crunch, so we're going to speed through these as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. Welcome to another episode of Tabletop Theater. Well, a brand new set of adventurers in a brand new area up north. Uh, if you could zoom in a little, yeah, there we are, a little bit north of Iman in an area where the red dot is. I'll ping it. Fort Doxio. Fort Doxio, the camera zooms in as as I describe, and it, you know, shows around the camera, does this cool little thing. Fort Doxio is a major population center. It's it's a big fort built into the uh, the mountain sets of Craghammer. Um, it's an ancient keep that's always been withheld. Uh, there's always hold held a garrison throughout generations of some sort, whoever new sets of powers come into place. But this fort, the inside has become sort of a, a city, a small city of its own. It's very um, made out of a lot of woods and stones, very uh, very much like Skyrim setting, northern Skyrim setting with a little bit of snow coming in. Here, the camera pans around, there's always the military group and the uh, the, the military that's held here at Fort Doxio. Um, no, no visible, the, the technology here is still, there's, there's not a lot of rifles. There's no rifles to be seen. There's a mixed group, mostly humans, about 60% humans, a lot of dwarves, Craghammer being nearby, a very a dwarven home, uh, and a good population of dragonborn here as well as this being more mountainous area where dragon magic used to uh, a lot of dragon magic used to be nearby it re it produces a lot of dragon dragonborn as the camera's passing through through the population we get we cut to like a big circular circular large um air, uh, assembly area it's and when I mean circular, I mean there's there's wooden. Imagine a giant cavern made out of a cabin, circular cabin made out of uh wood, big woods and logs. And as the camera zooms in inside, there's a big roaring fire in the center. Uh, there's an area set up to be um that looks to be like a kitchen with tables and like a tavern nearby. There's uh nearby there's people talking uh commerce happening this big uh central area you see a lot of warriors and then the uh, it passes a sign that says the um rat catchers guild the camera zooms in from table to table conversation picking up here and there different adventurers here are members of this rat catchers guild talking about you know setting up missions okay well we need to go well, we'll do it. We'll get this animal. Blah 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 blah. I'm like, well, we just got this contract for da 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 da. And then it passes through to another table, uh, where uh, a group of five, you five, in the center of the table. There's a bag of colding, a bag of colding, with uh, that holds uh, an animal's head of your most recent kill that you're here to, you know, turn in, but you you have a number uh you're right next to it there's a number uh 14 uh number 66 and uh the, as the camera zooms out slightly in the background you see now serving number 54. uh as the camera zooms out a little bit more it reveals the rest of you at the table discussing this last adventure that all five of you just came back from and are here to turn in as you the group of adventurers let's start off with introducing one of you at a time tell us who uh rock let's start off with you tell me what you look like what's happening who a little bit about yourself share your character for us please so uh, he he actually is not at the table when the scene starts. He walks in from uh, uh, f from the bar counter, carrying two two flagons, uh, standing at Im immense seven feet tall, like 
seven feet tall, ca- coming in with long hairy beard, long hairy, uh, long hair, like everything. And he's he's wearing fur thicker than uh, thicker than the law allows. Yeah, coming from. And then he said, "Your mama, I didn't get it. I'm all for good insults, but that one just." I don't know why one would insult one's mother. Setting up the flagons, uh, fl- flagons down, sliding one of them to the near, uh, uh, to the near, uh, nearby, the nearby dragonborn. Like, yeah. Mm. So, thanks. Uh, <clears throat> also, so you, uh, what you're is human? You're yes, human, right? I'm human. All right, continue. I, uh, I was about to about to say that, but <laughs> sorry. Uh, yeah. A human, a human man, impress, uh, impressive in size, and and he's definitely not a thin fella. He this one, this one is where this one weighs way over three hundred pounds. Wow, but it's uh, it's all bulk. Muscular human man, passing uh, the flag into uh, uh, Dragonborn. Which one? We have Scar. two. Scar. Scar, introduce your character a bit, please. Oh, <clears throat> Scar is dragonborn, and she is very impressive at six and a half feet. Very built, not built, but just, you know, muscular. And uh, definitely can tell that she is... Um, Fit dragonborn. A fit... <laughs> Dragonborn, yes. Well, impressive it too. Well, no, she's actually a little on the skinny side for a dragonborn. Hmm. She's, the average is 300. She's only 265 pounds. Nice. So uh, she's a little on the skinny. So I would say she's a little wirely. <laughs> <laughs> Feminine. And not. Shouldn't absolutely not, but I mean, yeah, uh, she's <laughs> she's when you say why I'm in like anyway, she's athletic, continue. she's mm-hmm. athletic, you know, and um, uh, she is she's got reddish tint copper, um, yes, they do actually, <laughs> just not <laughs> noticeable, but um. She's got a reddish. Of course, tint. that question would come up at of some point. Of course, it would. Yeah, and obviously it was foggy. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, and um, uh, you could tell that she is um, has definitely seen combat. So, she's definitely got her scars. Hence um, the name Scar. Yeah. The nickname Scar. Yep. Fantastic. Uh. Fan- fantastic um and passing uh, still with the with the conversation the con the, the table passes by and uh as as it twirls around it to show your weapons in the back uh i mean you tell me a little bit about uh your weapons what, what do you carry what do you fight with battle axe Boom, battle axe behind, you know, big old battle axe behind. As the camera turns around and rotates around you, it brings its attention over to Armalad. Armalad is a, um, oh, geez, where was the height and weight thing? Uh, um, a uh, <laughs> a uh, very young 48-year-old, um, 5 foot 11, 135-ish pound wood elf. You're small. Skinny little twig of a fella, hey? Yes, <laughs> small. <laughs> um, only beside you behemoths. Um, <laughs> a light brown, greenish tinted skin, um, blondish hair, oddly purplish eyes, um, and uh, has a uh, uh, a bow. Well, we're not carrying our weapons; they're behind us, up presumably. Um, oh, has nearby a, on the table, right? Yeah. Everybody here, um, you're in the Rat Catchers Guild. Weapons yeah. galore. Everybody's armed. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I'm not going to have my bow strung up over my shoulder and stuff like that. Um, 
uh, quarter staff. Uh, you can't necessarily see the um, uh, belt that is filled with darts um, because it's under the cloak that is covering the belt that's filled, filled with darts. With darts. <laughs> yes. Um, and uh, uh, well, I'll, I'll also be uh, drinking it from a slightly smaller container of uh, uh, ale. Nice. Nice. Um, let's see. <laughs> None of us has mentioned our actual class yet, have they? No, I know it. it's fantastic. <laughs> I'm noticing this trend as well. Uh, so that was Armalad. Um, nobody has figured out the name yet. Yeah, and I don't think I'm not smart enough for that. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the camera zooms in. You're talking with, uh, let's see, let's go with Dar or Narissa. Let's go with ladies next. Narissa. Oh, you're muted. I'm can't sorry. Can't hear, hear you. Sorry. <laughs> I, I, no, I have to keep hitting my mic on my, my mic meat button. Um, Narissa's like got her feet up on the table with her dagger out, playing with it, just basically making conversation, but not really. Mm -hmm. um, she's a Tiffling. Tiffling, with, fantastic. With um, very, very short hair. That's not typical of her natural uh, ancestry. Uh, it's very pixie cut, very short in the back, spiked up front, um, very blue, like as blue as sapphires. Um, she um, has the canines in the front of her teeth. She's got the slit black eyes um, and it's ebony skin. So you can tell she's got the drow ancestry to her demon skin. Um, nice. The music, by the way, has turned chilly right now. Um, she's Ooh. very young. She's the youngest in the group. She's only 17. So she just became of age um she's only five foot eight um about 165 pounds 75 kg so she's very <laughs> she might be tall but she's very nimble um and every once in a while as she's playing with her daggers you'll you, you could see her tilting her head and it looks like she's saying okay yeah you're right and just going back to what she's ever doing. Okay, nice. turn sideways. What do we see in the profile? Oh, for her? Yeah. Oh, she, 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 she. <laughs> okay, for, 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 for assets. <laughs> she is a B cup. Okay. <laughs> she is a B cup in leather gear. Um, I had I had peacock. So. Peacock. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! It's a peacock with bright, bright feathers on the backside. <laughs> no, it's no, it's funny because of the way that we rolled our our dice on on it, and it's like God, ah! it's always uh, our numbers flipped. Literally, the number she rolled, she went up, and then when I rolled, my number went down to the number she rolled. So it was kind of wow. Funny. Wow, that is kind of funny. Uh, uh, so, uh, young Tiefling, and the music is getting kind of creepy. And like, as you're as you're like just having a conversation by your what seems to be by yourself, you're uh, you know, you hear uh, as the camera zooms in, starts moving in towards you. It zooms in towards you, and you can hear it. Little, what did you go? little voices as it creepily passes by you and then focuses on Dar, the last one here. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, Dar. Uh, so uh, Dar is a red-skinned dragonborn there, red eyes. And it's, he's got scars across the front of his face there. Where he's been scratched. He's wearing chain mail. And over the ch chain mail, though, is the remnants of a tabard. 
um, the color on the color on that's faded. There, he's on the actual short side. Wow. Um, he. Um, so probably the other dragonborn are looking over, and they're actually just going. Oh, you might some of them you hear saying the word "runt" or "freak," because Dar's only about five foot seven. There, so very He's short, <laughs> very short for dragonborn. Yeah, but he. Or as some, or as some people jokingly call him the dwarf, because like a dwarf, he's short, but he's broad instead. So he's probably weighs as much as some of the dragonborn that are at least six foot, or even like six foot five, but it's all in just pure width. Wow. There, it's. So let's uh, have a bit of lore separation between as now like the camera shows the two dragon board Dar and Scar mm -hmm. in this realm the uh, because lore traditionally dragons can shrink themselves to the size of humans or become tr pass off as human beings stuff happens also there's different lineages that come by and uh, diff to give off the dragonborn race just magically sometimes comes by like hey my son or daughter is born this way because the hundred or two three four five generations before magic shit happened mm. there is you know sometimes some lean more towards the humanoid side where it's just a little bit of reptilian skin very attractive others lean more towards the dragonborn side where it's more the scaly thick skin and more dragonborn features same thing happens with any of the mixes of the races half orc half humans mm -hmm. there is a scale from one to the differentiate the other hey what why are you hiding thank you <laughs> i just uh, literally noticed that i push this up so i could brush up on my book <laughs> And now I forgot to put it down, so mm -hmm. that's a me. Small lizard, that's funny. All right, moving on. <clears throat> As uh, so, you've come back from uh, you're 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 waiting for your opportunity to uh, to turn turn this in. As this camera is passing by, um, I'll let you guys um, there. Do, do you want it? Uh, give you guys. Let's give you guys an opportunity to talk amongst yourselves if you want to get to know each other. How long have we been waiting? Two. No. Now serving Two number long. 54. We have 11 more before us. <laughs> I think. Uh, my intelligence isn't that high, but I think it's 12. Yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> Well, What's it, your it, number? Sixty-nine. I'm changing we're the number 66. to sixty-nine. Oh, we're sixty-nine. I, even... I think I'm. I think that's a more I, appropriate I, number. Confused. <laughs> I'm confused. What what number were you? I don't know. Sixty-six. Yeah, Very old mute. Sixty-six. All right, we're sticking at sixty-six. <laughs> um. Well. Hey. Oh, so it is eleven. Mm -hmm. So so. Uh, twelve. We, it's okay. We can still keep waiting. The person, the person is gonna be waiting for the rest of their life. Oh. Ding! Now serving number fifty-five. Hey, now we're eleven away. Ten. We're ten away. What number are you skipping? Huh? Fifty-five to sixty-six is eleven. Uh, I don't get how this is supposed to work. So. We're well, supposed to wait. You confuse me. <laughs> I'm confused. Why are we confused? What are we? Ah. Uh, Somebody okay, comes okay. by. Ah, fuck it. I, I think now I have a better. Now serving number fifty-eight. 
I have boom, a, somebody comes by. Oh, sorry, I'm interrupting you guys. Go ahead. I, I think I'm having a better conversation with the person that's sitting in the center of the table. Seriously? The bag split open and, uh, you know, the bag is... How do you want the bag? Still wrapped up or yeah, it's still wrapped? Right, it's still wrapped up. But there is a conversation. head on the table. There okay. is a freaking head on the on the table. I like no, your the person's bag behind of me. Colding. I like that. Yeah, the dart dart kind of just misunderstanding and just goes, just picks up the head and goes, mm, "Not much of a conversational speaker, is it?" I oh, think yeah. that was an insult on the rest of us being a very mm. bad conversationalist compared to somebody in complete silence. Which I can appreciate. It, it's Marissa. okay. Marissa. It's okay. Be a good girl. Hey, it's it's not my fault that I didn't learn uh, they didn't learn their manners when they were kids. Scar, can your arm reach far enough down to actually pat her on the head? Oh boy. As the uh, as you're having this conversation, uh, somebody comes by. As you're holding up the bag, uh, you hear, uh, "Hey, look, Blade, look at the tiny bag." You, the camera quickly tilts to show a uh, half orc, dumb, big, talking to uh, talking to a uh, uh, a humanoid. A uh, smaller, shorter dude with tons of armor, big swords everywhere. He's like, <clears throat> leans over, ha, look at that. What do you think they're going to get for that? 50 pence, 50, 50, uh, 50 silver, and they, they're holding, and the big orc is holding a giant, big old, big old, uh, like a bag of holding a lot bigger. Come on, let's go. Yeah, look at these bunch of losers over here. I think it would 68 be- 68 right here, and uh, 58 right here, and they've got a number ticket to them. Oh, really? Because uh, I think our, I think ours is a little bit more than your penis size. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the uh, Mr. It. Blade instantly well, just stops. <laughs> the camera, like there's a uh, stare screech. <laughs> the, the humanoid dude stops mid strep. Oh, what you say, little girl? I think she said your penis is tiny and insignificant. I guess also the brain yeah. size there. I, I mean, I, 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 they're I, I, not I complimenting it. what we're saying. Well, I understand that you guys don't have any intelligence. I, or, I, I do believe they were castrated when they were children. Or comes by. <sighs> big old head. My head is big. Big brain. That means you Blade's don't like, have any uh, any head down below. <laughs> Blade holds I'm up. Just gonna say it. <laughs> it's okay, Blade. It's okay. Uh, it's okay, door. No, we have already used door. Frame. Uh, it's okay. Uh, <laughs> door frame. <yeah. laughs> Oh, it's not. okay, Rock. Oh, perfect. His name is Rock. Oh, I even got her. It's okay, Rock. I got you, they're too. They're trying to start a fight. They're too stupid. If they know that if anybody starts a fight here, they're kicked out. Bunch of little baby losers with your little thing, with their little prize. Come on. Don't get riled up by them. Oh, little baby oh wait, wait, kids. wait, 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 oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, Go ahead. Go ahead. It, it's yes, we don't start a fight here, but that doesn't Mommy mean don't outside. Don't. Mommy? Oh no 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 no, no Marissa. Mommy I want the thing that. is is that the fact that you all no. got upset about something that is no. totally obvious says something no. about you. Oh no. And the fact Come that they on. can't get us because apparently no. we can't breed with low no. lives. Bing. Now serving fifty nine. No, no, wait, we're we're fifty eight. Come on, let's go. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, no. uh, suckers. Just carrying big old big old bag and and, and moving past. You fell for it. 
<laughs> they come back by holding number 89. Oh, <laughs> Worse. Um, uh, they, you see, and they, they, ext- uh, they turn, they turn it, uh, from the camera, from your point of view, they're in the background, and you just see, like, a big, the bag being dropped over. They're handed a, a, a little bit of talking back and forth, and and they hand over a big, big bag of gold, which Blade quickly grabs. Um, meanwhile, what do you guys want to be doing? Or do you want to try to? Or do you want to try to see how much what they're talking about, or how much it is? Why? Well, in the background, right, going, it's not our money, is it? Ha! <laughs> 500 gold for that. <laughs> you sure it wasn't it's, copper? It, it's not, it still doesn't matter because you don't have a big enough headset for it. I knew it got that high. I hope you like your STD later. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, as you're, as you're, as you're having this conversation, the, uh, the camera is backing out, backing out, backing out a little bit. And um, there is a um, uh, back in that to show a silhouetted figure in in on at a table, just watching, paying attention, back and forth, and then specifically uh, looking at you guys. You know, uh, you can't see this. I mean, the camera is just like. The camera is aware because it backed out, and there's somebody there watch. Uh, you know, just paying attention. <laughs> Uh, uh, the camera flashes ping now serving number 65. You jumped. I mean, yeah, we jumped in time, dude. It's, it's what happens, but you know, we're not gonna sit here and watching all of them. Uh, it jumps to 66. You're guys, Woo! Are... we jumped okay. too. Yep, <laughs> grab it and to jump the ship. Yeah, I prefer jumping to conclusions. And I, and and uh, I, I bring up Narissa with me. All right. Narissa and Scar walk up to uh, uh, to the waiting area. Uh, actually, let's see. Yes, that's what I can do. It doesn't matter. Uh, to the to the to the area. There's a big old uh, wooden section, uh, like a. Even though this is a big, gigantic, circular, uh, giant, big structure that houses a lot of people, there's still a, a couple of rooms set up and squared off. There, you see like a counter, and somebody's uh, there brings you up. You recognize them, and you guys interact with it, this guy. Like the, the cage in a casino. Right. Exactly correct. This is this is uh, this is Eddie the Dwarf. All right, what you got for me now? I had name of the group. <laughs> Where's your contract? Name of the group. You pull out whatever the contract uh, is. Contract is. All right. No names. Uh, no group name yet. Uh, Scar and Arissa. All right. We got a uh, anchor. Oh, this thing. Huh. Well, here you go. He's, and he looks over the the thing. Takes it with them. Comes back with the. Uh, comes back. And he says, "All right. Let's see." This is here worth 200 gold. And however, minus expenses from pre loaned out uh, equipment, uh, room and board, fees that are past due that you've had to hold off on, uh, minus uh, an IOU here from previous. You come back with, here you go. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what IOU? Uh, Who this can one's be Scar. IOU? No. Yeah, you're you're. It has it right here. Where you you come back to that fifty gold split between the five of you. Split between the group. That's what's left. Scar, last week you came here asking for another gold, another loan for some more. Uh, for more equipment. Your sh- your sword was damaged. It's all adds up. A, it's on credit. I don't have you a said we're, I know you said it was. I mean, be... I don't have a sword. I'm sorry. Your 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 axe. 
I don't know what you're no me. There you go. 50 gold. And then he uh, just as quickly. All right. Now serving number 60, 68, uh, 67. And the mm. little thing dings again. Nerissa yeah. and Scar. Got oh. That's barely yeah. enough for the next one. That's but only 10. Dar's probably been paying attention to something else. He goes, so um, how much have we got? Think gold age. What? Think gold age. It's not uncommon for this place, to, this guild, to be like, yes, oh, well, you can house it. There's a small room and board. Oh, you need equipment? We'll sell you all the equipment that you need. Yeah. You need repairs? Oh, we've got that. Don't worry. It's all on credit. You know what? As long when you take the mission at the end of it, we'll we'll deduct the nah, deductibles no. and you get your things and but 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 I I mean how how much for the how much for the deductibles that's time? Uh room and board, <laughs> room and board food mm -hmm. and I, I show them the list because it's 25, 20, 20, it adds up to like 150 of expenses. For all five of you, as a group, as a contract was signed, your names are all there. And we need to eat less, all of us. And uh, not gonna happen. Um, <laughs> that would start with you, Dragonborn, first. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me, little girl. Well, it's the truth. Dragonborn eat more than normal humans. <laughs> also, we do. Uh, also, certain individual has been ordering exotic wines. Who? You? <clears throat> no, I think he's then, talking about the elf in our group. I prefer ale. Lines okay, are for old what? people, like people you who are what? more stop, than like stop. eight years old. <laughs> okay, stop. Let's stop arguing about, you know, the expenses. You know, let's let's figure out what we're gonna do. We only have 50 gold. We gotta figure out how we're gonna get more money. We could And we're gonna have to start hunting granddaddy. The um, way this is going. We could knock off Rock or whatever his name was when the, we, we, we could when start he leaves. castrating people. There's already there, there's already two that have been fully castrated. Um, Excuse me, I couldn't help but over here. You in need of some more money. The camera pans and turns to see like a uh, uh, some uh, uh, <clears throat> darker skinned humanoid human mm -hmm. darker skinned human. Uh, dressed in simple clothing with like uh it's bright underneath but he's got like a black simple and drab robe on top trying to uh you could tell that this person has is a, like a mage but is trying to is more dressed in like uh uncommon clothes to this area this, this he has a lot more money than this area has a lot of he's a stealth mage um, do you mind if I sit down and talk for a bit, uh, briefly? Join sure. us. Sure, Dave, Warbucks. Uh, <clears throat> he sits down and puts down that, the, the, the cloak, you know, slightly hooded cloak, and puts it back, revealing a, an older gentleman, um, older gentleman, human, grain hair, spectacles, kind, kind face, round, kind face. My name, uh, with a big, big long beard, and his hair is long and like is long. And un normally, for uh, it, a wizard mage, they normally keep it unkept. This is more like held together nicely in a, in a ponytail in the back, and a big long, bushy white white beard turning gray, so very salt and pepper. Your name Gandalf by any chance? No, it's uh, Spencer Crittenden. Daddy Warbox. 
My no, my my name is Spencer Crittenden. I am from many places nearby. I represent a group of uh, concerned citizens. I was told that this Rat Catchers Guild I could find and make contracts with adventuring group and well you seem to be a a sort and in need of money i've been watching for a bit you seem full of bravado and seem to uh talk very highly of amongst yourselves would you be interested in something like in a contract what if, if it what? pays enough who is your leader what who, who makes the negotiations Negotiations here. Hang on. <laughs> uh, that, that, that would probably be the most smartest one of us. So that would be between me and the monk. Let's. Uh, I'm wise. I'm not smart. Okay, Narissa. That, that, that I have wisdom Narissa. 18, intelligence 10. Then it's me. Rack, are you sure you don't want to beat the, the leader? Because the leader m moves the story forward. Uh, I mean... Rack! 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 Do it. Bye. Uh, yeah, I talk. What you got? Well, um... Nearby, there's been rep uh, uh, m reports of people disappearing. Goods. We've sent uh, scouts and soldiers to try to deal with an area. It's not worked out. It's been difficult for us to petition the local government. Uh, the fort has their own things going on. Uh, they advised me to reach out to you. Uh, my group of concerned citizens are interested in finding out what is in this area that is mysterious. We think that there might be something similar to things we have come across before. Like what? Okay, how much? Mm. Straight down to business, I like you. Mm -hmm. um, what is your name? I am Rak. Rak? Rak Kikoira. Rak Kikoira. Man, straight to the point. I like it. I am offering 1,000 gold. A piece to be split and between all of you that is a lot that is a lot that's a legit lot that's a legit lot okay and and uh, what, you, what, what is the exact condition of payment okay so two things because of the sensitive nature of this mystery i would like to uh uh, participate in observation without being there. I am not a uh, fighter, I am just uh, some, a researcher, and I am curious, and I want to, this, to know more about this area as well. He pulls out a marble and a rock with a bunch of wires and a, and a gem on it. This is a, a rocky talk. It is a communication system that I could use to talk with you and communicate with you uh, via distance. Oh, this a is how it works. Now, this is not Iman, where there's a lot of cool technology. This is for Doxio. It's more... Um, oh, hey, this is one of those things Feng used. Ah, I've been wanting one of these for an age. <laughs> what? Yeah. He, he shows rock. you how to use you it. You know what I'm just saying? That Scar is saying, looking at it like a rock. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's a rock. You can talk that. into it, and the other rock hears it. It allows us uh, to you, communicate long distances. Yeah. If, if I if I speak to this rock, the other rock speaks for me, and when he speaks to the other rock, this uh, this rock speaks to us. I've heard of a magic spell like word of sending or magic. something like that. Magic. It is very yes. much like no magic. That. Don't it is no magic. magic. You don't no deal. Magic. No magic for you. Okay. Uh, and also this marble. This will allow me to, uh, once we are near the area of interest, this will allow us, allow me to see what you are seeing. Uh, you will be paid upon completion. I can offer you 
um, 100 gold in advance to be split between the must be for preparations and 900 gold upon completion. And of course, one more caveat. I th you are to you can keep uh, all gems and gold and I and uh, whatever you'd find of interest. There has been many people that have been disappeared in the area. I suspect goods and services of what time. However, if there is a, a strange artifact for geological purposes and research, I would like to keep that and will offer an additional 500 gold if you find such an object. I will, of course, point it out. How does this still sound to you? What is completion mean? What does completion mean? What are what we supposed said? to do? Well, um, I don't know what is there or who or what. We have heard rumors that there is creature, organized creatures. Um, we, uh, we've seen brought back a body with scratches and bite marks. Uh, however, with also signs of tools, so some sort of organized creatures with, we don't know. Um, so I suppose if it is creatures, wipe out the head of the creatures. If it is some strange phenomenon, wipe out the strange phenomenon. Luckily, I will be there, be a voice to tell you. Completion means the problem stops. I will let you know. Satisfactory? No. Rock? I understand, Rock. If you're not up to this, uh, up Here to is this. Oh. what I'm thinking. Since you do not have a clearly defined idea of what is happening and what is going on, the fair, the, oh, you will pay us the 100 gold to stop it. And if we do not find a solution in uh, two weeks, you will buy us another gold, another 100 gold, every two weeks until you have decided uh, the mission is either over, at which point oh, you pay no. us the remaining. No, we, we want this resolved. This would lead to you just delaying the process and sitting on your ass and not doing anything and collecting freely. The maximum, I I could, uh, a maximum I, of a thousand gold. I mean, I could... I think I will just talk to, uh, I could just ask Blade. He seemed like a good person. They had a, a good, uh, You don't want to go to Blade. Well, I mean, you are leaving me no options. I give you the terms. You do want to accept or not? No, 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 no. The reason why you don't you want see, it. You said no. I say yes. Thank no, you no, 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 no. You're not oh? listening to me. Okay. I am, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you the reason why you don't want to go to Blade. Is okay, he will is... off? He will literally make you pay ten times more than what Rack is asking you. Um, uh, he listen, has swindled. Just... He swindles more than we ha We're doing. Literally, a, we're not right. swindling. We're not right. swindling. Right. No. Make a persuasion <laughs> check. And make that man has time out. no dick. Time out. <laughs> It is now time for a persuasion check. <laughs> First of all, and I failed. I, I mean, I, I, forgive me, but I mean, you are still just uh, the first group of adventurers I've come across. You could be lying. I, I could always ask for anybody else. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry if I have intruded. If this is to uh, wait, Mr. Rock. Carlos, can uh, I wait. check around him for ghosts? Um, what now? Can I check to see if he's got ghosts? You could, you could, I mean, huh? yes ish. I know what you're asking, uh, but, but click I think on the that's thing hang on. I don't think that's how you. I no, don't think I think that's I, I'm not, I don't think I'm higher than, I'm not high enough. I might not be oh. high enough to Here, do here, have some drugs. Have some <laughs> drugs. Now you can be high enough. So um, you have Whispers of the Dead. Oh, no, that's not it. Whales from the Grave? No. No, no, that's something different. All right, it doesn't matter. Um, well, I, I, I want to yes end this. So uh, tell me, uh, roll me a uh, insight check and then ask me what the heck you're looking for. What are you looking for? To see if he has spirits nearby? Everybody has spirits nearby. Yeah. 
Like what 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 is what he's trying to to find in the spot that you know that we can give him that you know rat uh, rock can't or anybody else. And I still can't I do know. it. Uh, Carlos, yeah. we're in a pub. Of course, yeah. there's spirits nearby. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, there you go. There's there's your answer. There no. you're getting. You're getting I'm, not, back. I'm, I'm rolling low. I got uh, back back yeah. to rack. Uh, well, it does just does appear that I am being overly. Uh, right. Okay. So 100 gold over two weeks is too much. But let's say. Let's say to make sure that you don't feel like we're trying to swindle you, that's 10 gold every two weeks to cover our expenses in case the mission drags on. This is I... just to cover the expenses. And if you decide that there is no way, you, you can at any point enter contact, a contact for the... Uh, so make, a we'll... persuasion, make a persuasion check. Yeah. Uh, the DC uh... is high, though, because you're... I mean, I'm giving you a prime opportunity. I'm feeding you the the, the hook right now, and you're rejecting it. No, 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 putting no. conditions to it. This guy can literally walk at any point. You're the first person sees Grant to. Yeah, let's see. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. Uh, I don't <laughs> like to do these step in negotiations. I I mean, I'm on a time crunch. If you Sir? do not feel you cannot take care of this in one week's time. I can just go. To I the- I definitely gonna... feel we can do that, but this is this is a contingency clause in in case you decide that uh, you you are trying to swindle us to doing free work by saying that, no no it's not finished yet go on further go on further. It is I am concerned for my people getting stuck in a contact where they're not getting paid. Um, that's why I'm being you. Okay, let's just say negotiations after one week if a contract. Either upon completion or not completion, you get to keep the 100 gold and you do not get the bonus of 900. Fair? Ah, that's fair. Okay, good. It is good doing business with you. Um, I can, uh, I, when he, and he pulls out, you know, uh, the stack and he slides it, slides it across. Thank you. I feel good about this group. Preparations to be made. I, he starts showing you on, on the on the uh, on you know puts the slides it across the table, and uh, he extends out his hand to you, Rock. So he has a paper contact, and he wants me to shake on it. Yeah, Is I just want like, to move yeah. the scene forward. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Second, oh, shoot, fine. The hand. fine, fine, fine. Second, he hate, hate, shake the hand. The scene fades out slightly. You guys um, can, uh, we can move the story forward to, you guys have gear. You guys, in the off time between scenes, you guys bought gear, bought stuff, made whatever arrangements you needed to. Food, hey, you guys have got some gold now. It's pretty good. Pretty good wages. A day's wage is about one gold a day. So you got some... We got uh, thirty gold each, if including the previous uh, previous gig and the shares from this gig. So that's ten plus twenty gold each. You made a month's worth of salary, normal everyday average Joe salary, in in you know from today, but with the promise of much more. Um, the camera cuts through cuts to um, your uh, walking uh, adventuring group. We're, we're, we're walking towards uh, uh, on horseback if you want, or however it doesn't matter. Maybe in a, with a cart. Let's do a cart. Um, there's a cart in, that you've, of course, rented because everything's rentable here. And of course, uh, we're renting it. There's only one render though. It's the Rat Catchers <laughs> Guild. <laughs> Nobody's selling anything because the Rat Catchers Guild owns and they think that the bulls are the You're best. catching on. <laughs> You're catching on. You're yes. catching on, you rat. <laughs> also uh the rat catchers guild is just they call it rat, people like low level adventurers people like hey we need you to go to the basement and clear out whatever infestation is there i mean that's why the term rat catchers came came around because you guys are 
the actually, level adventure is too actually, actually i was thinking that uh, the adventuring groups uh, it, it started out as just simple rat hunting like the rat catches are a real thing in in real world so at some point when the menaces started getting bigger the rat catches started getting more more, more and more clients and or... more and more more and more heavily armed armed uh, uh, rat catches and soon they soon they figured out the business model where they didn't need to send their own guys they could just hire <laughs> or better yet with the rat catcher guild is basically these are the contracts that nobody wants to touch so these are what we end up with yes all of that is all of that is true mm -hmm. uh you're 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 having these little conversations little bemoanings as you're you're riding along on this uh road it's outside it's kind of dark nightish it's i mean the low lightish there's mountains nearby you're going against one of those mountain crops and nearby you could hear the uh, uh one of you is holding the rocky talking and you hear the, the voice in about uh probably by if you if it is getting dark and you want to rest up this is good uh, it is maybe half a day's journey left there is some um, we have discovered what we think is some cave entrance. Uh, our previous scouting tracks have led to that. You will be in the uh, area soon. As he's just tracking, you know, here on the cart and from the far distance, you hear the Ow! Uh, a strange animal, you know, wolf found in the noises in the distance. Anything that you want to do between now and then, we could catch for camp, catch up on stuff, have some more discussions out in the wilderness. Uh, so, so as I was saying, Jericho is cool and all, but he's nothing compared to Thing. Thing is the real hero of the story. <laughs> don't let anyone tell you otherwise. He's my hero. Fair and square. I love it so much. <laughs> Literally talking about legends from like a generation ago. It's like worshiping uh, Louis Armstrong. Or what was the guy? Not Armstrong. Louis Armstrong. Uh, Neil Armstrong? Neil Armstrong. <laughs> Different. That makes more sense. One's, on one's a jazz guy. <laughs> you can worship both of them. Yeah. Well, if we're stopping for the night, I have some stories I can tell you from my days in the military. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, did I tell you I was grown up by giants? That's yeah. yeah. I was, my parents, they apparently were sailing around the world and the ship got sunk and I stranded up on shore of some giant village. They brought me up as one of their own. Nice. And that's why I've been eating giant food. That's made me pray, guys, right? No, no they don't seem to be tiny as... <clears throat> Never mind. <laughs> Where have the scene has shifted to, like, around the campfire, uh, roasted meats, and you guys are there rehashing stories. Is there anything in uh, I know about this particular area from my days um before since nobody is giving anybody a clue on what their class is um <laughs> before going to the place where i got trained um the, we my, could... the gr <laughs> well first off i know what you're asking roll yes. me a history check roll me a history check it's always oh, a history, history yeah. check yeah that's intelligence i'm not got a chance in hell okay Ooh, I rolled well. I rolled a 12. All right. Uh, specifically, what are you trying to find out? Well, no, just anything about the area that that group that I was with would have known due to their moving goods and services around the area. Um, yes. Okay. Great question. Um, you, well, we could say this is with, with the exposition too, if you want that, uh, you know, the group, the gang that I used to run with beforehand, uh, you tell me that there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of hollow area and hiding hiding spots where smugglers put their loot in. These mountains and these areas are filled with ancient caverns and secret entrances and hollows. There's lots of hollows. 
these mountains are the mountains and cliffs nearby have a lot of caverns and systems inside that's the most okay. rumors that you can have that there's uh like like here in Portland, Oregon, we have under underground. Back in the days when uh, these people used to get Shanghai, there is literal underneath underground tunnels running throughout the entire city. That's very much similar to here in this mountainous area. There's a lot of uh, smugglers' tunnels, and that's really just pre-made caverns that people use for stuff. Okay, thank you. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Going into this area, does Scar recognize anything from her military time? Her military background roll me with advantage. History? Yeah. Oof, yeah. Um, close to the same thing. Vague information that it's not you've not been to this area before. I mean, what is out here is wilderness and not a lot of defensible area. It's out of the way. However, it is close enough to the roads, but where you're going is off-road. And from a soldier's point, um, that wilderness area is dangerous. The mountains is a host to a lot of strange creatures, which luckily the rat catchers either cat, uh, catch because of contracts, but this area, the uh spencer literally said that the the people have been disappearing there's been a couple rat catchers that have not made it back from this era and caravans i mean they're now starting to attack the caravans on the on the road here and the mm -hmm. road is still like several miles away from your destination so whatever is trekking from the wilderness is coming here okay i think we need to do a rotating shifts um when we set up camp if we um, set up camp Given that I don't actually need proper sleep, I'll take the second half of the night because I'll need four hours and I'm just going to be meditating for four hours. So after that, I can take the rest of it. Fantastic. Let's go. Uh, let's set. Let's split this into three. We're going to have a, a full rest. In which case, uh, you know, we'll, we'll just RP. Uh, the camera does a quick montage of. You telling her war stories of your times of the war, past adventurers. I think now we should start maybe giving a... Now let's wait until combat to give a hint of what our characters can do. Uh, anyways, um, let's pick with three. Uh, we'll roll with survival check or nature check or perception check to make sure that there's no bad stuff happens. Um, if you do two people... Roll with advantage. So split into three. One, two, three. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. Okay. Roll me something. Uh, trying to find... Uh, what were the three? Perception. Survival. Survival, perception, nature. That's wisdom. Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. And yeah, intelligence. Uh, uh, wisdom, wisdom, intelligence, yeah. <clears throat> Okay. Do, do you well, want me to go with you to help with the advantage? Yes. All right, yes. both of you, the ladies are staying up at night first. They got first card. Roll with advantage. Okay, I'm doing perception. <clears throat> there we go. A natural 20. All right. The, 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 All the, right. The, 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 the... <clears throat> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Our first one. Your um, the fire. As soon as it starts dying down, it starts getting colder, and you could see all the the noise. The here here, you know, um, as it starts getting colder and slide, the noises start getting closer. All the little midnight animal noises, and clues that squat squat, and some rustling, Ducks. some growling, howling, little eye beads. Uh, the fire <laughs> seems to be like um, as it's dying out, they're getting more and more closer. You start putting in more and more fire flares up and there is about maybe at a hundred or so yards you could it lights up now that animals were like a wolf and other creatures smaller creatures were starting to encroach in cabin out of 
curiosity and hunger. Uh, now that you put the logs on, it illuminates that area a lot more, and they all scurry off into the distance and remain so. With that natural 20, that created a whole bunch of light and heat, which is good. Yes. But rather than it being like, uh, hey, we need to be stealthy, it's like, no, it's like, keep all the fucking animals away from here. Good. Moving up. Keep, Who's next? Keep logs. Keep logs on. Keep logs on. Fire. And I'll go next. Our hands over All right. the, the fire. Anybody who wants to take the second with me? Nope. Good. I'll be alone in the midnight shift. Well, as I said, it's I only need a four hours sleep so I can handle both the second and third shifts if you want. It's okay. I'm 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 sleeping on a tree branch. I'm going to bed <laughs> so I can get some sleep. I got a little survival because it's a cold night. So anybody who wants to assist me? Sure. Nobody? No, okay. So that's been an advantage then. I think it's not that bad. Um, You are... <clears throat> Let's see. You're... You did great. Um, The... The animals that you, you know when to recognize that these animals are not, you're not in the deep enough that they're more vicious creatures nearby. The fire is, you keep the fire good, you make the appropriate noises, everything goes through, no problem. Uh, the cold night air doesn't seem to bother you. It drizzles you a little bit. It starts drizzling a little bit, but it's still comfortable and warm and you have enough shelter nearby. Everybody's sleeping well. It's cold, but it's rain, so it's near zero. Uh, it's 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 uh, before it gets snowy. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Rolling up. Next up, one last roll. That would be Dar and I. All right. Do you want to roll individually or one person with advantage? <clears throat> I could do uh, perception at plus six. Yeah, Dar will just assess you. Okay. Yeah. Perf. <laughs> 26? Between between the two of you, I mean, with the light, it's still this... Up until dawn, uh, you're still able to, with enough light, you could see by the reflection of, in, the, in the animal's eyes as soon as they start approaching in. It's not too much trouble for you guys to either throw a stone... Or put another log on the fire, and it you can see them back away some more. Um, animals are more now encroaching, but and being very, very cautious and not approaching close enough. It, you don't feel a sense of danger. It's just like, oh, look, there's another one. Makes them know, hey, go away. All right, back to like just scanning. It's very, very chill, very chill watch. You're like security guards shooting away annoying teenagers. The Meanwhile, light's actually hindering up things me, up. given I have dark vision. The light's actually hindering me because I have dark vision, but or whatever. I'm protecting the others. I'm protecting the others. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. How about without it? Then you can let it mm. die down a lot lower, and you're able to catch it better. Moving on. The next morning, everything's fine. Everybody wakes up. We're moving forward. The story continues as it starts. Uh, you know, a quick little one more little quick montage of everybody waking up, getting breakfast, getting ready to go. Uh, the little uh, message uh, thing says, okay, uh, uh, we are ready to take off. Uh, I will, when when you are, arrive close, near, we'll communicate more. And as your it scene fades out and fades back in to just outside of a rocky area, much in the wilderness. It's midday, complete midday. Um, you're on the, on the cart. You're approaching and you're just set, you know, putting, setting the horses to safety, harnessing them down. In front of you, there's like a... You can't travel past this point. There's a lot of underbrush. There's a lot of rocky things. There's a lot of areas. This seems to be the area. This seems to be the last area that the scouts reported. Um, now that you're here and you're setting up, Let's look for the entrances of things or for signs of animals or attack or signs of whatever. Who knows? 
If I were going to hide a cave, where would I hide it? Survival. Let's do survival for tracking purposes. Yeah. <laughs> Not insight. Okay. I'll do one. Or investigation. 22. Wow. Fantastic. Uh, I'm a lad. Ooh, 22. Um, that was 22 perception. Ground. No, it's 22 survival. Yeah, no, that's 22 survival. Oh, it's a perception <laughs> above it. That's why it's I was right. like it's, looking at it. We're, we're all fine. This, this is perfect. You find signs of struggle. You could see where um, there's... Um, where there's clothing as clothing, tattered clothing that's completely unusual to this area. As you start looking, you could start seeing where things like uh, common household items that were just tossed in like, imagine uh, you start telling, we practicing this story like there was a caravan, it was hit. Um, we're seeing there's a trail of things that they were, whatever was being carried off Discard, discarded bits of clothing, broken pot. Uh, I'm going to um, to with my history mm -hmm. um, figure out what exactly happened being a fighter. Roll it. And History, perception, what? Um, insight or perception or even uh, survival will work too. Any of those things. Let's see. Uh, as a fighter, yeah. I was going to say, yeah. and roll with advantage as well, but doesn't it's not necessary. Yeah. Um, you're rolling between the two of you, and you, you could say, as say, yes. Um, footprints, animal. And you could see where uh, something was discarded, bloody shirt, signs of weapons, weaponry, but these tracks on the ground with a 22 survival and 16, you could see uh, it's still too muddy to see, but they look like humanoid, probably goblin, goblinoid with those high rolls. But you're seeing a lot of, uh, it's too organized for that. And lots of weapons and stuff. I mean, signs of like modern weaponry cutting things. As you're rolling, as you're moving across, the trail that is to you guys seems obvious. There's bits of tighter clone here. On occasion, you'll find another artifact thrown, thrown away. And at one point, you run across a dead body. And it's near an entrance. Like uh, you, you, the camera's just doing a little um, montage. You're you're flipping over a, a dead body. You could see that. Okay, they, this was uh, somebody that they were maybe holding prisoner, something prisoner ransom. Who to know? Bound up, which is strange, and still killed with sharp weaponry. So how did they? Goblins. How? With... how were they killed? This is uh, this is just uh, um. Roll me uh medicine. Yeah, with the medicine it's gonna be more uh more difficult. Medicine or nature? Probably medicine. Yeah, Who medicine. rolls? You asked the question. Yeah, yes. That's how it goes. <laughs> so you have to do it, sadly. 13. Or you can ask someone else to investigate for you. Well the thirteen you can say no that um there is um with 13 to like say crudely crude bladed tools like was there throat slit well, or... multiple multiple stab wounds a blow huh. kind of like uh he tried uh with a 13 probably try to run away try to escape try to overpower them uh and you could see and that's discarded like there is it's away from the trail that's Moving forward, you can see more discarded things, and there's a fallen footsteps and things. Uh, there's an entrance to the cave, cave system where we come into. Yeah, so Dar's just gonna actually, you know, halt at the entrance, unsling his explorer's pack, take out a torch, 
and start getting it lit with a tender box. Fantastic. Slings it. Slings it. I'm guessing anyone anyone else want a torch? Or is it just yeah. me? Don't need one. Oh. You enter into the caverns. Can I you do. we move the uh can you move I, the I get a second torch and get lit, lit right. with the first one, pass it scar. Get mm. my uh, just as I'm putting that away. <laughs> Fine. Other one lit. Pass it over to Rack. Go to put the pack on it and I'm just looking at Narissa going. Narissa. <laughs> Narissa, do you want a torch? Time out, time out. Uh, yeah, I'm just asking. Uh, she's uh, gonna zoom in the bottom right hand corner. Scroll the your your picture that's showing on tabletop theater lower, please, for me. Right. Okay. And it's like just Perfect. looking at the rest and just going, find the waffle. Three, two. Yeah. All right. Hear no oh. reply from her. He starts putting up the pack back on his shoulders, hoists his own torch, and just draws out his long sword. We're getting oh, into I draw out my battle battle axe. Fantastic! I um, just rests out on his shoulder. So I, I'm, I'm still walking with my quarter staff. Hmm. Um, I also have a staff. It just uh, happens to have an axe on the bottom. I, I was going to uh. say, <laughs> before I had to fix something, Nerissa actually yeah. does a small flame in her hand, saying, nope, I already have mine. Oh, mm. Nice. <laughs> nice. You went to Rin, and oh, normally, I mean, yes, the... this area is dark and closing. Hey, you can see that move. there's a tunnel with lots of tracks. And as you start approaching, it gets to, it gets to a part where it's only, you can only do one person at a time, you know, like... You can see how now, why this area was hidden so well, because you have to like squeeze through one person at a time just to get past. And you could feel like a breeze coming through like, um, but with this light, little by little it starts getting smaller and smaller, this area where you almost have to like, almost have to crouch down, especially a lot of you taller ones have to be on your hands and knees to get past this small gap at area and then it opens up and you hear the uh echoing sound of a large cavern with water that's not quite that's not quite running it's uh there's there's motion to it. it's a little bit running but you hear a lot of the constant as drops come by you know are dropping down and from the ceiling stalagmites whatever dripping little bits of water onto these pools with enough light you could see that there is rock and area i mean there it is right there as the picture shows you are there there's water there's a path and what would you like to do i assume the bluish areas is the water yes. and the rockish areas is a path the what's rock? black what's black black is an accessible area that's okay. like and that's just that... the rock wall basically yep. basically Yes. So we're going to have to wander along here and do hopscotch jumps, okay? It doesn't look deep. Yeah. How, yeah, how deep does the water look? Well... Or... Use my quarter do... staff. Use my quarter staff and reach down. At, at least we'll get our bath for the week. Um, you take your quarter, uh, quarter staff and reach down. I mean, it's pretty clear. This is very unmolested water. It it probably seems to be like 10, 15 feet. You could probably dive into this. Mm. Um, if you want to or roll walk to see... through it. Yeah. I, I'm a wood elf, not a sea elf. <laughs> if such a thing exists. Sorry, couldn't resist. Um, yeah, no, I think we should generally stick to the path if we can. Who, who knows what's in that water? All right. Um, so let's take um, Armalad since you're up front. Why don't you drag your character and move him to? An, we'll just use your character as a as the marker as your unless you want somebody else to lead. Can you move your character? Yeah, I can. Okay, good. No, okay. my character has a wrong name again. Uh, I cannot rename it. Oh, I'll do it. Yes, because this is the old one. Yes, you're correct. This is the old one. 
Um, I'm going to have to do this again. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Where is my character? I can't see my character. Rock. Yes. Your... Uh, your scar. You're right. Your yeah. third I, one. I'm not. Those. Move the map not... over to the oh, bottom. Yeah, oh, right. You know who is missing, though, is um me. Okay. Because I didn't. you weren't supposed to be playing. <laughs> you're me? You're to be here. Yeah, you weren't supposed to be here, man. What do you I mean? can leave wow. if you want. No. 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 Anyways, um, you start moving forward uh, along the path. Uh, you set off a trap. Move, uh, roll me a dexterity saving throw. That's why I exist. I'm trying to find my character because it's so small. And I'm trying so to here's what I want you guys to do. I don't want anybody else besides uh, Armalad to be... Um, Okay. Let's make it simple and and because we're one of time crunch and I need to move you guys forward as possible. So let's just have one person move the marker through. Uh, you start moving in that direction. You set off a trap uh, as you as you start stepping forward. Uh, did you roll me a dexterity saving throw? I did. Eleven. Eleven's not good. Um, there's it's nice knowing you guys. <laughs> um, you you step and there's a string. There's an actual like. Uh, threaded wire, mm -hmm. not wire, but actual string, uh, like hemp, hemp, thin rope. You you pass along, click, 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 sits the pulleys, rocks fall. You gain, you take um, 2d6 random damage. Roll. Roll 2d6. Is it just roll 2d6? Oh, I have to do a last roll 2d6. You take Ow. 10 points of blood gene damage as you take the full brunt of these rocks. <laughs> okay, and there's a good. and and it echoes as the little slide and things splash, splash, splash into the water. It does ripples and it just makes a loud. Why don't you just ring the doorbell for them? I did. Cut to movement, the far side. As there's some um, more rock sliding back and forth, and as the camera does this thing where, like, the camera does this thing where it pokes over the ledges and sees you in a distance making noises. And you just uh, hear a slight drum. Doom. 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 And then it, it then it like the same thing, like those the, the silhouetted views just disappear. Or you know, it's from point of view camera, so it just passes over the horizon, disappearing. Cut back to your guys' reaction. Um I'm gonna Wonderful. use perception to look for traps, maybe now. Since you've had me moving. Um, now that now that uh, everybody rushes in and has been more careful, I want everybody to roll me a perception and you specifically. This will be for you want a perception for traps for some further traps. Go for it. All right. Now I get a good. And then Armalad rolled me a fourteen on perception. Uh. You are very much focusing on the on the traps on the floors, and with a uh, fourteen, it's good. It's it's fine. You you could see more areas where there is uh, later as as you're keeping an eye out. You will point out if any more further come across, but you're very carefully scanning the area. Um, Scar, as because you're being careful of that too, and you're looking around in the area, you spot something over here i didn't see it i'm sorry where um, oh it's top left corner. actually let me let me bring it up to the map hang on let me see where you guys are up in the map all right so i'm going to move it right here to your left just straight to your left i'm not seeing anything i'm sorry but i oh. point over there yeah and just point over and... there it's showing up on the Twitch stream, so it's, I I I put a goblin on the Twitch screen so you all could see it because that's what that's what it is. The camera cuts to, and as you're as you're noticing, like, hey, something moving over there. Quick zoom in, 
there's three glug goblin small goblinoid heads uh gremlinish creatures overlooking this area and as that happens they're looking you're looking you see them they see you and then they immediately uh disappear what do you guys want to do Call initiative. You guys want to go something. after them? Oh, oh yeah. Um. All right. Well. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We're not smart. We're not the smart group. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, we don't. We don't need initiative for this. We don't need initiative for this. But it's getting into action. The camera does that. You know, as you start moving. Uh. Uh. The rocky talkie goes off. Okay. Those are. Br- Make sure you stop them. I don't make sure they don't want anybody else. And now, um, because you came here closer, I forgot to mention it. The little marble, you would have activated it at this point. There's a little glowing, little glowing moat of light, which is the marble now being active. Seeing what you're all seeing. As as this happened in a point of view from um, Spencer, looking into... Uh, looking into like a wall he's touching up some sort of pad and your image has been shown why didn't you tell us about the the trap i can that's what you're here for i don't see any traps i don't know anything (laughs) i could barely see what you're seeing anyways um the scene cuts to you guys getting ready uh who wants a roll who wants to go first we're just chasing after these things uh while I'm probably the fastest, I probably am half dead anyway. Um, Not yet. Sorry. Well, 14 of 24. Um, but I, I am the fastest, so avoiding as any traps that I can see, sure, I'll, I'll, I'll head off. Um, you have a lot of a lot of quick a lot of movement, don't you? Yeah. So. Let's clarify now. Tell us your tell us who what your what you what your class is and what what your what you what you're doing. Let's make it easier for the audience. Uh, I'm a uh, I'm a monk, and uh, not only can I um, defend myself against not traps fairly well, um, I can move like the wind, or in this case, the shadow, because I am Fantastic. a way of the shadow monk. So, uh, roll me a, um, b- because we're going to do this thing. Yeah, fantastic. You take off quickly, and you're going to bounce from rock to rock to rock to get to that area as quickly as possible. Roll me a um, dexterity s- or acrobatics. Dex- I would say acrobatics. Yeah, is that the, the one? Yeah, they're the same acrobatics and dexterity. Yeah. 10 it, you're it's it's fine you, the dc is not is not super high on this but you're you you're you're taking your time jumping from spot to spot spot to spot being careful because there's distance and, and sometimes i mean you don't want to you're not falling into the water because it's deep and then you'll have to but anyways you're jumping from these rocks to rock to rock to rock to the big one as everybody else is following up next to you With the 10, you're not going to catch up just yet, but everybody sees where to go, and who's next? Who wants to uh, try to help to catch up to these goblins? You could use what... We're doing this as a skill-based thing again, so you could use whatever skills you want that you have proficiency in to catch up, to, to stop these fools. Wow. Uh, is it just me, or is the stream quality really low at the moment? Mm, looks fine. I'm going to try... I'm going to try and and catch okay. up. It's just me then. I have mine at yeah. 300 and I have mine at 360. Everybody's trying to catch up. What would you like to do? Roll me a skill or so. Oh, that fuck yeah. You're because you saw where uh the monk was like doing and a certain parts he has to like climb. You're you're able to like <laughs> land strongly and use your powerful thighs to jump from one spot to the other and you catch up a lot. A lot more. That's a success. Boom! You're 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 catching up, and you can see now clearly that there's three distinct ones, and and um, and there's three distinct ones. That is enough to catch up to at least one of them. Um, who's next? 
now that you see them, they are small, goblin, uh, with a sense of intelligence, and they have their clothing you could see is more modernistic not so much tribes and furs and nudeness it's like they've been clothing themselves with whatever scraps of the attacks of adventurers or scouts it's a mishmash of bright different brightly colored clothing sewn together or dressed like hey this guy's wearing underwear for a, a shirt <laughs> anyways who's next I think it will be Dar next. How would you like to contribute to stopping all three of these? Uh, Dar is going to try and shout out and, then, and challenge them to fight him there. Yeah. All right, you're gonna use. Uh, how's that work? What are you intimidation? I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna like. In, uh, Do it. You just hear Dar's voice ringing out. You dare run away, you cowards! Come face me. One of them quickly turns around and roll it. Thirteen. That's a success. Mm -hmm. Uh, with thirteen, Ed, I'll fight you, stupid little And he starts moving forward, and uh, you know, starts moving forward, ready to attack. There's one left. Mm -hmm. I need one more. I've got one failure. And Narissa, right, right. I'm actually gonna go into stealth. Okay. Do it. So roll stealth. 20 stealth. So you're sneakily. You're like, uh, you know what? As as these guys are running away, as as these guys are running away um, out of nowhere, you ahead of them, you 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 appear and stand out your your leg and trip one of them. <laughs> and, he, <laughs> and he and he caught and you stop one. So that's one, two. Uh, how many, how many successes? Two, we three, got two, three successes. All right. We're going to need two more. Um, uh, you got these three. Great. Fantastic. All three of these have stopped and you, you know, they're out of the fight. However, if you want to kill them, you could kill them. If you just want to hold them down, they're fine. But up ahead over here to your left, can you see now, um, this big old thing. Can you move the camera just a little bit more further to the your left and show off this? It looks like the sun thing. glowing. In yeah, the... what looks like the sun glowing. Super fantastic. Thank you. All right, so that is what... Um, there's light coming from that area, and you see two more. Uh, we're at the entrance, and like, ah, oh, shit. Quick, we got to warn everybody. Let's go. And they start uh, moving into the cavern, you know, quickly going through. Um, anybody else? Who's next? Who wants to do something? Who's next? Mm, I guess I'm the only one You're left. it. You're, You're it. Um, they don't have any animals with them, do they? No. Uh, they can if you want. Ah, well, uh, yeah, sure. I should, I should, uh, they have some, some, what, wolves? Yeah, wolves sounds. No, I mean, there's, yeah. they're in here, they're underground, there would be, uh, there's like a mole or an underground thing. Uh, outside uh, they would have wolves. There's not going to be wolves inside of this cavern. Well, anyway, anyway, what, what Hack is trying to do <laughs> is to, uh, distract the, the animals with the mating call. What the roll? Roll or do the thing. Twenty-one. Um, oddly enough, one of them has this little like weasel that's that's you know companion weasel that's on his shoulder and that he's running with, and all of a sudden the camera cuts through cuts through to one of them like 
the the weasel just like starts attacking this dude's face and he has to stop and like uh meanwhile the the other one uh it looks is through this cavern and just like bolts it through it he's just now a silhouette uh going against the cavern as there's light glowing further past through and he just disappears off site um obviously you guys are still running and catching up to you catch trying to catch up it's a really high intense chase scene as the cameras is is doing their thing we got one more to go one last roll who hasn't rolled everybody's rolled everybody's, everybody's rolled, rolled. All right. everybody rolled one more then who wants to contribute i can try and take the last guy out with a dart <laughs> from behind I, I, I could go back into stealth Oh no, we can't. Let's not reuse the same thing we did. Uh, we did last time. Okay. The whole point of this exercise is to be completely creative. Uh, somebody speak up. Let's do a thing. I'll toss a dart at one of them. The DC will be higher because you have a whole bunch of bonuses to it. Um, uh, but uh, you start chasing, running, chasing. Uh, if I can catch to up your... to him, I'll use hand to hand. But if I can't, I'll use a dart. Um, you, let's. Let's say with this. Let's uh, throw me your. Let's do hand to hand or the dart. Let's okay, do hand to hand. Let's do hand to hand. That way, it, yeah. it's more potentially yeah, effective yeah. and can be used more than once. Fourteen, because it's an attack. You're not. I mean, you're you're you you're catching up. The chasing is cool. You're catching up, catching up, catching up, and you you do this thing where you're like this chick, yeah! and this little guy, Snimble. <laughs> Just can a major I, attack. Can I use a key point to do two more on No, strikes? you may not. Sorry. This oh, is not shit. combat. This is, <laughs> you know what this is. Uh, so that's two failures. Who's next? This little dude is the last guy. And now he's seems to be now to get into like the cavern seems to be like twisting and turning. It's more open and starting to open up. And the light is getting brighter. He's they're getting to their destination. Mm. Who's next? Nope. 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 I'm. Nope. Well, I think Dar is kind of busy trying to deal with the one that he's kind of challenged there. You All know. Right. So, you're, yeah, the camera cuts to you, like, Let's just quickly and easily. Like, here. you confront them and you just, like, pick, you know, mm -hmm. it takes a little bit of time, but you, you subdue him or whatever. Mm -hmm. Camera cuts back to, once again, this dude's just, like, flopping, getting closer. The area's getting brighter and brighter. Who's next? Come on. Um, I go. I I I attack my guy with my battle axe. And the one that you had blocked? Stopped? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's fine. You you've taken care of him already. You rolled high enough that okay. you, you chopped him up. He's dead. Like you okay. you ran up, you chopped him, he's dead. You can now, if you want, go after this next person. I'm going after the next person. But now I want you to give me a unique skill. Tell me how you how what you're gonna do to defeat him. Athletics. You already used it. I did? That's how you got to this last guy last time. I have nothing. Do you have many things? Not with my strength. Mm, it's trying to think of how you can use something. The whole point is to you be creative, use what you have to stop okay. this person. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm going to try intimidation. Yeah, do it. <gasps> it succeeds he's out i mean he's pa he's gotten past that point and he's now running you know the camera cuts through him and like there's light where he's running through the, the little tunnel and cut to you saying or doing something you stop you shall stop not pass loud you you're almost like pissed off and angry you could see the bar barbarian portion of you come out in that scream that whoa 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 stop you stop and this guy any any and he turns around slowly little by little uh when he turns around i'm right uh, there it comes to reveal you and then dar and Narissa and Rock 
and Narm, lad, slowly, you know, catching up and seeing this poor, this one little squeakling, uh, uh, small goblin, just almost like trembling and looking around and, and looking everywhere. And you hear him go, uh, and he's just almost like frozen huh? in, in place. We're going to jump mm-hmm. to this spot mm-hmm. now. So, as he's doing this, we shall find our in a new area where Wooster's still got the wrong name and we don't have him John. <laughs> it's again, it's fine. <laughs> Thank you. We'll, I'll deal with that in a second. Okay. Um, uh, but as as this uh, little goblin, as you start approaching this little uh, little goblin here, uh, you've got his attention. What do you want? You've stopped and what's next? I pick him up. I look at him. And I go, why are you running away? (laughs) And he's just frozen with fear. You should put him down. And camera... You know, he's in the foreground, background, thump, shake of the screen. Cut to close up view, big goblin king, tall, six foot, built, massive. He's got this this necklace here that's shining kind of greenish. The area lights, you notice around you that this area is lit matchingly uh, with like there's a lot of greenery and light here uh, the, uh, he's wearing armors with uh, scale scale armor with like little bump and protruding bits that they've added on very uh, uh, tribalistic big big uh, uh, kind of like a club thing lances to the side you should put down my goblin. You realize put down means kill, right? Um, I look down on the Goblin King because I'm bigger than him. Is can uh uh uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. um, and I'm like, you gonna make me? <laughs> <laughs> and he says, oh yeah. I'm gonna kill you and eat your leather and wear all your loot. You uh, and what army? He's <laughs> don't, don't ask him where his army is. <laughs> oh, it's too late for that. Let's roll for it. No, Let's no, roll no, for no. It. Narissa has stealthed out because she's not that stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I am though. <laughs> you are. The rest Mia. of the party is. <laughs> the rest of the party <laughs> is. We're gonna we're gonna be like right here. Hang on a second. I'm gonna arrange some stuff. Uh, so um, he starts talking. Uh, Why is it not as he's communicating little by little? Like there's a few of them that start coming out from between all the little leaves and shrubbery nearby. Uh, they start coming out. Meanwhile, the rocky talk Carlos, is going. Yeah, Carlos, my yeah. it says my token isn't selected. Oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about that. Can you see my initiative? It says eight, yeah. No. Seven. 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 Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Uh I'm still trying to I'm trying to arrange and bring over who am I bringing over? Uh Dar. Control copy. And I might as well just you know what? I might as well just bring rack as well. Nope. Dar can't do the that. Wolves. Can do car and double. change rack. So give me a second while I fix the battle scene because we're running short on time-ish and I want to advance things forward. Rack says rack. Super. All right. So these little goblins start uh, showing up from different areas. The uh, Rocky Talkie starts going off and um, um, Spencer says, the necklace. That is it. That is it, the artifact. 
It must belong to the, to the, some sort of nature deity or something that is changing the room, changing them. And cut to, um, oh, we only need one of them. He steps, he steps, he steps, uh, he's on this little uh, top part there. You, you've got this guy here, little guy right next to you. And um, let's see, more over here. Copy, paste. Come on, paste. There we go. There we go. All right. This is the battle map. These are the stakes. Let's get some initiative rules from them. Goblins are at turn. Come on, Who hasn't goblin. rolled initiative for us? Uh, me. Goblin boss is at. All right. And now, as usual, I need to write these down. It's something big that I can see. Oh, wow. All right. So, uh, Scar? Yeah. You and, my, you and the goblin boss? Um, what's your dexterity? My dex. My it's dex. two. I know because I changed it for you. Fourteen. Didn't I? It's, yeah, it's fourteen. 14. So is mine. So we're exactly tied. Let's roll initiative again to decide between you and me. Nineteen. Well, one, so, okay. Uh, so, so Dar is first, then me. All right. Dar arm. Uh, Nar. <laughs> Narissa. Nar. Okay. Uh, then Scar, <laughs> then uh, Garblin Boss, <laughs> just because we have to have an when's, R. When's in the my sound. goblin? When's my goblin? My goblins go on nine. Oh, you're go oh, sorry, I didn't see those. Sorry, they're they're before uh, Narissa. Okay, so Dar armed goblins, yeah. Then why Nerissa. did you guys have to roll low? <laughs> um, you want to know why then... we rolled low? Because we were helping you with your numbers. Wow. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Rack is last. All right, Nar, and so then is the boss, Goblin Boss, because I just rolled yeah. off again. So then are, it's, are you trying so to so suggest Nar that I only roll high when you guys are rolling low, and when you guys roll, okay, I roll low automatically? Is that what you're trying Nar. to say? No, I'm just suggesting that you never boss. roll anything so higher than that. They're, they're not suggesting anything. They're just letting the evidence speak for, for itself. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was also, evidence. Uh, Three years worth of streams. I, I, yeah. I, I was just suggesting the fact that, you know, he never rolls when he needs to. Mm. All right, so we're in a time crunch. Uh, we're in a time crunch, so let's speed this up. Here we go. We got new characters. We got new combat. Uh, number one, the the little goblin that you're holding by his neck bites you. Doesn't cause any damage whatsoever. Gets into mm -hmm. a defensive stand, defensive stance right next, right in front of you. Um, top of the round, it's Dar. Dar, you are a fighter, aren't you? Yes. All right. I think you is it is Scar that's holding the goblin? I think you've got our tokens mixed up. Uh, yeah. Okay. Here. There we go. Yeah. Right. They've been squirt. I just put the switched. tokens. I just put yeah. the tokens yeah, there down. Right. But yeah. Okay. So. This is my fun part. There's gonna. Come out, come to here, and take a swing at the goblin that he's just marched up to. All right, yeah. AC fifteen. Okay. Sorry, my street's just been a wee bit slow today. Come on. I'm gonna bring uh, up your guys' sheets just so that I could also. Um... Help you guys in case you need it. Yeah, and um, we were not one handed, so it's going to be like that. 16 oh. hits. Let's go. Okay. 
Yeah. And it's got my Jewel and Style on it. So eight damage. There. Eight damage. Uh, you take him out. He's gone. Mm -hmm. So he is gone completely. Let's take him out of the fight. Boom. Wrong one. You took out this guy right here? The one in front of Dar. That one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that one right there. Okay, so um, his HP goes down to zero, and I'm just going to instead put something on here, but, but, as a reaction, mm -hmm. the goblin says, you die when I say you die. And the thing flashes bright green for a split second. And then the goblin the goblin that you just took down, his wounds flash green for a blitz second. He's back Not to good. one HP. He used a reaction for that. Mm. Okay. I um Dar's just gonna shy I he, he was he's, he's kind of shy there, there. Oh, I dropped this goblin. Oh, maybe not. Arm, you're next. And then my goblins attack. Oh, this is going to be fun. So uh -huh. I'm going to be a nice guy, and because one of you is already slightly hurt, um, if you need a healing potion, they cost 50 gold normally. Here at the guild, they are 70 gold. No negotiations. 70 gold. Well, I'm going to be nice. 60, because you guys are members. You get a member discount. They would normally be 70. They're worth 50. Everybody sells them for 50. They sell them for 70. You're members. You get them for 60. So if you want to invest or if, it needs, if you guys drop down, that's part of your cut. All right, moving on. <laughs> Arm, you are next. Yeah, well, normally I would go up and fight these things, but uh, uh, in my current condition, let's see, how far can I move? It's 2d4 uh, plus 4 for 60, 60 gold. Uh, I could move over this far, but that's unrequired. I'm going to go over here, I guess. And um, I'll, I'm going to take a shot at the one that Dar, that, that he brought back to life. Let's okay. see how many times he can do that. I'm going to take a shot at him. With a dart. Um, a shot. With a dart. Okay. It's a ranged weapon, which you'll take your action to use. I missed. You, uh... You try and it's like uh, he keeps it's a natural one. Yeah. Yes, it's a natural one. Yep. Yeah, it's bad. What what consequence would you like? Um. Oh, it missed him and hit the one behind him. You no. tell me. Um, oh, I mean, it could hit Dar. Yeah, it could hit Dar. Should I roll again and see if I hit Dar? No. It. I mean, I'm asking you. What would you like as a penalty? Um, His foot. His foot. Dar's foot? No, yours. <laughs> it, it, listen, it's if you want to hit, throw a dirt and hit a foot, it hits Dar foot. because okay. he's in the way. You have a perfect shot, and then Dar somehow steps in front. Uh, roll me your damage, and I'll decide how much of it goes goes to uh, Dar. Five. Five. Go to four. Half roll down. You take two damage for that. Sorry, Dar. You just hear a oh, what baby? The goblin has a really sharp toe. He kicked you. It's sticking. Uh, the dart is sticking into your armor, <laughs> but not too deep because of your armor. All I'm just All right, um, so of. that's Armalod. Uh, do you have any anything else you'd like to do? Um, I could do more movement, but I'm not sure where I'd want to go. All right, moving uh, on to the goblins. Okay. Moving on to the goblins' turn. They are going to move. First off, there's one that's uh, at a one in front of Dar. Since you just got distracted with with that hit, he's mm -hmm. going to. Oh shit! Did I, did I, did I switch it? Hang on. Uh, let's make sure to do it. Let's see. He's going to take his scimitar and hit you. 
Yeah, that hits. Damn. You take five damage, slashing as he. Yeah. Ha ha. Distracted warrior. Uh, this one in front of Scar. I don't like the that. one I'm holding with my left hand. The one you're holding. Uh, yeah, the one that <clears throat> narratively bit you and freed himself. You hearing me? Thank you. Uh, rolls an 18 <laughs> and hits you for the same five. Um, let's see who's next. This guy here sees Rack and Narissa. I have a question. Shoot. Is is rage a free action? On your own turn. It's yes. a bonus action on your turn. Okay. Yeah. To take half damage, yeah. Fortune not yet. Sorry. <laughs> evil DM does evil DM things. Where's where is our other guy? Uh, what other guy? Him. Where's Dar? I don't see Dar. He's right beside the goblin, right? Down no, below. I yeah. mean on our Zoom. Oh, oh, he Shit. dropped. He'll come back. Oh, he'll come back. Um, the goblin. If, first off, another goblin is gonna take out a little javelin from his backpack and is take a sh is gonna throw a sh take a throw and throw it at Narissa, and the other goblin is gonna take a throw at Rack. How can he see or Narissa? Narissa's stealth. Oh, no, not at the beginning. Can't of the hear combat. you. I can't hear you, Narissa. I, I I did state that I went into stealth. <sighs> I mean, previously, that's how you used to catch up to the last guy. But this is pre-fighting. Uh, we're not well, going to narrow it. Well, it really, it really doesn't matter anyway. Because yeah. I, I, I have an instant hit. Instant, so. All right. Anyways, it's, we're going to throw javelin. Range javelin throw. At one at Narissa. At a five. Misses. Another one at Rack. 21. That hits for five. Probably. Yep. Five piercing damage. And let's see, those one, two, I have one, one, two, three. So there are six goblins. That's too many. One, two, three, six. four, five, yeah. six. Yeah, and six the is... goblin king. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh yeah, but they're weak. It's fine. So I get one more free throw. I'm gonna throw this one at um. Mm, This one is going to uh, run up uh, all like an um, like little, and it's gonna use this entire movement uh, to run up forward here and kind of block off this area, and and it's like come on, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, and he's just going to uh, that's his entire movement, but he's gonna hold his action, uh, so in case anybody gets clear gets near. Those are all the goblin turns. Nar, you are next. Narissa, sorry. Who's next? Narissa. Yeah. Um... Yeah, nobody hit you yet, which is cool. I kind of want to see your yeah, special yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see your that, special that's thing. That's why I want to see the special thing too. Uh, so the camera cuts to the to Narissa, who is a rogue and is staring down at, at this lance that came near her. Steps into the shadows, and you can hear the whispers. Ah, stop, fuck, stop, stop. Kill them! Kill them! Get them! I feel like I'm in Harry Potter. <laughs> basically, basically, yes, you are. It sounds like uh, it. she is actually going to go back into stealth right now. Okay. So I'm rolling for Which stealth. Which will give you advantage on a on a throw or to an action. What is your? Uh, you rolled an eight. Which may or may not pass their perception. Their perception is nine. Nine. Sorry, there's too many uh, bright. 
things nearby. I don't think they're gonna get away with the stealth attack. Even with the thing that's right in front of us, that's like a hill or... It's what you roll, it's not it's, where you... Yeah, I'm sorry. I. The universe demands that you're, you're seen in this action scene. It makes it more dramatic. Yeah, that's fine. But you can still do sneak attack damage if you're beside an already engaged I'm not anything. Is, I'm not. I'm not. I, I'm not next to anything. I'm actually behind two people. Have, you have movement. Yeah, you could move and attack. I mean, that's your you thing. Could, move yeah, you could move here and attack, or move here and attack. Kill the goblin that uh, that Scar is literally was holding on, was holding onto the the neck that's like trying to chew her arm off, and it's in the defensive position. Oh, he's already released. Remember. Yeah, 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 that's what I mean, like... He's just like referring a... to which one it was. Oh, by the way, uh, uh, Scar, don't forget to take your damage. On your on your sheet. I'll, I'll do... Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, minus uh... five on that. You took five damage. All right. And, uh, yeah, roll your... Um, you have advantage on this attack. So, you want to use your sword? I'm using my sword. However, no, I don't think the long sword. It's got to be a short sword for you. No. If you want it for piercing attack, could, because it's. Uh, if you want sneak attack. No. Long my, sword's not good. Debate. My my proficiency as a rogue is both long, short, and. Yeah, the problem is I think. Oh, your strength. Never mind. Narissa's strength based. The doy. Wait, are you strength based? No, I'm dex based. No. Deck space, yeah. All right. Anyways, roll it. Uh, shoot. Not enough. Yeah. That misses. Yeah. And I need to put the sneak attack on there. Oh, it's you roll with advantage. It's still a twelve. It's with yeah. a twelve. Doesn't yeah. do it. Uh, um, here's what I'm saying: is that um, the, because you chose longsword, it goes off of your strength instead of your dexterity so if you went with a short sword those are finesse it's 1d6 but you get a better chance to hit much better chance to hit and much better damage i would suggest that instead long sword is more for fighters it's just you're using a sword that's too big for your class that's all trust with me when i say that this is better for you a bear is also a finesse weapon yes yeah, but rapier. That, okay, but so that there we go. Is not, but that is not a, but that's not a proficiency weapon. Rapier would be. So rapier solves this issue, okay? It's 1d8. Uh, it's 1d8, and there we go. Um, so thank you for suggesting rapier. It is... That it is work. a very classic rogue choice of weapon. So, okay, long, so long sword is also a classic choice. Rapier and scimitar. Long sword isn't mm -hmm. finesse. You couldn't use sneak attack. You can't use sneak with that, honey. All right. <clears throat> so, try it again. I will allow you to roll again with advantage using your rapier. I don't know how to pronounce it. Rapier. <sighs> Fuck Just... me. Natural 20. There you go. Boom, boom. Sneak attack this motherfucker. And I mean, you've that you're going to kill this dude. It's, it's... I just clicked the sneak attack, right? Just click, yeah. no, click rapier. I No, I know what you're saying, yes. Click sneak attack to enable it, and then click on the well thingy. Perfect, perfect. Yes, there you go. Uh, a total of nine. Um, and I think you would have, because of the natural 20, would have, uh, whatever, we're going to double. It's more than enough. Um... This guy dies, and he does not have a way to tell him uh, to wake up anymore. So, let me get... Everything's in the way. This guy disappears. Yeah. Moving on, we've got a scar, and then the, my boss comes on. Mm. Rage! You would like to rage. Boom, action. Uh, you do a rage. You hear... <sighs> the uh, spirits of the, your ancestral spirits, almost like a tribal. Tribal. <sighs> you can do this. You can do this. I'm fighting. I'm fighting. 
your ancestral people fill you with rage, energy. The first person that you attack, it's only the first person that you attack on this round will it's basically a challenge to them. It means that only they you're you're only they're allowed to attack you. If the they attack king. anybody else, it's a disadvantage. <laughs> um, if you could get to him from where you're at, how far is he? One, two, one zero. Hang on. It, there, there you go. It's thirty feet. Yep. Well, twenty-five to the square that is yep. beside him. Mo do it. Get yourself over there, girl. In a rage, the camera. <laughs> the spirits are. Go get him, go get him, come on, go get him, go get him, come on. No. <laughs> oh, boy. <sighs> the Goblin King <sighs> catches your axe. <laughs> the smell hits you. And he just takes... Um, you lose your weapon, but he tosses it on the, I mean, it's, it's on the ground as a free action. You'll be able to get it, but that's the penalty. He laughs in your yeah. face and you lose Constitution saving throw for the bad breath that he's assaulted you with. <laughs> <laughs> um, wouldn't that be a welcome, poison save? Welcome back, Dar. <laughs> um, yes, welcome back, Dar. Oh, that was annoying. Um, it is now his turn. Yeah. It is now his turn. Um, And you only get one attack right now as at level three, right? Yeah. You, does yours say multi attack? It does not say multi attack. All right. So um, he is going to multi attack. Um, I am going Me? to. Oh, by the way, also, also as to let you know, when you rage at the beginning of your turn, when you attack, you could say I recklessly attack. As a barbarian, which is what Scar is. Mm -hmm. The barbarian you could recklessly attack but that means that you roll with the advantage but so does anybody that does melee against you in this case right. it until your help. next turn in this there. case it wouldn't have helped you anyways because his dc is 17 and this is a beefy boy but i'm gonna have to tone down his it doesn't matter um it's his turn he's gonna swing two scimitar attacks at you uh the first one uh first one Hits you for a five, obviously. Wait, is it five or is it seven? Yeah, it's five slashing damage. All right, so the first one hits you for five. Uh, <laughs> and the second one, he drops it on the ground. The uh, and of course, rounded down, so it's only uh, rounded down, so it's only really two, two damage. And the second one, you grab his his arm. Uh, what? There you go. What now, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Dueling ones, and his was a peril uh, one. Carlos? Uh, and, yeah? My turn wasn't technically over with. Oh, I'm sorry. Was there Was there more? I could do the you whales. Moved from, a... I, I could do the whales from the grave immediately. Is it a bonus action? What does it do? Basically, with the sneak of damage, All as right. long as it was 30 feet in front of me, I could do half the damage, uh, round it right. up to something else. You're right. You're right. So, uh, you're right. Let's cut back to, um, you, and I think it's the one next to it. I mean, there's one already next to it that's at a, do you want to hit somebody else? Round I was actually going to hit the boss. Because the boss I mean, was like. He's 30 feet away. Was 30 feet away. Because he didn't move. Um, but would she on. also hit me with that? No, no. it doesn't work like that. She, no. It doesn't work exactly like that. Hang on a second. Um, your but, character... I can't, but I can actually do it closer to me if you like. Just click on just click on the, the thing that says it. When you click on it, it'll pop up in the thing and I can read the exact words, please. Yes, I can. Yeah, it's anybody that you could see within 30 feet. All right. Roll half the number of sneak attack. How many sneak attack do you normally roll? Two. Two. Uh, rounded, rounded up. So roll one more sneak attack, which would be 1d6, and it'll that damage will go through to the uh, mm -hmm. goblin boss. Target the same creature. 
people have the number of sneak attack dice. Okay. It's one. Yeah. one. All right. So um, part of that, you could see when you kill that goblin, the the um, thing. Now, if you want, uh, the thing flash flares briefly, and he takes damage off of that. So there we go. All right. I'm gonna write down his thing. Can I just click on? Why can't I click on him? Whatever. Moving on. Um, so the boss took his turn. It, I mean, struck you down. You caught his thing. And then he says, he's going to use his bonus action to say, get in here. And another one shows up right next to you. Scar. Another goblin shows up right next to you. Okay. Then it is Rack's turn. Rack is going to, uh, Rack is going to yell, Scar, Rack. And he's marching, marching behind him, focusing intensely and swinging his halberd over over Rax. Uh, uh, know, there's over there's this thing. There's this big thing in the way. I think I'm right. going to have to... It's going to be tough terrain. Tough terrain. Really? You either have to go around it or try to climb over it, which will take some of your... I mean, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go through here. All right. Then you're going to take one for sure once every swipe attack because sure. that's what happens. Thank All right. You. I'm gonna take it and then we'll go from there. It misses. All right, moving on. Continue. <laughs> swinging, swinging his halberd over over Scar's ducking head towards the big boss. Roll it. Don't decapitate. Oh, it's a reckless attack, by the way. Roll a reckless attack. Fantastic. That um, let's see. Can you can you get? To him from where you were at? Is that with enough movement? I have 30 movement. Shouldn't slow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, you can move to like here to and... get to him if you want. Yeah, right there. Right there's a good spot. I no, I don't need... had reach. Reach. I have reach. Oh, you have reach. The doy. My bad. I did not realize that. Okay. Um, That's why I'm swinging roll, over her head. Roll, roll your damage. <laughs> roll your damage. My bad. It's just been a small phalanx. Carlos, that's all. And oh wait, that's a plus two because I forgot to add the uh, add the focus bonus on it. But yeah, ten damage. Ten damage, all right. Six, right. Ten damage. All right. Uh, oh, he does not like that. As a legendary action, he's going to say, oh, "What are you waiting for?" Every goblin gets either free attack or free movement to get in position. None of these do a, a attack of opportunity. Uh, they are going Why? to Why? Because he's a boss and I'm the DM and this is how the shit works. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair enough. Yeah, cause um, I mean, but, it's cause, where, where'd that one come from? Because you, you move this one. Oh, okay. There we go. Sorry. All right. So um, that's going to be. One attack against uh, both of both of the. Uh... <sighs> this one goes to Scar. Then the next one goes to Rack. Um, it's a free now movement. I have three. It's a free movement or a free attack. Oh yeah, you're right. Only one. Only one of them gets a free attack because everybody moved to surround yeah. mm -hmm. Rack. They move to surround Rack, and but the Goblin's already there. You're correct. Thank you for the clarification. All right, so twenty-four. Uh, really that hits. So yeah. you take a total of. Uh, basically 10, it doubles it. So you get 10 damage, okay. roll, roll down, take, you take 5 damage uh, mm -hmm. from this. He gets you good. <laughs> you weren't expecting that. Um, the other one, Dar, because you have two goblins next to you already, Dar. Wait, wait a minute. Do I get it? Or does... Yeah, no, no, he's not attacking attack you. He's attacking the rack. Here oh, okay. He's attacking you, rack. Me. He's attacking Scar. Natural yeah. 20, you take 10 damage, rolled halfway down, is only 5. But you're probably raging, so that's only 5 damage. Yeah. Yeah. That's what yeah. I meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now these two goblins that didn't have to move are going to attack Dar. Uh, 16 and natural 1. Uh, the one that's already barely weak and barely held in onto life mm -hmm. drops his sword. Mm -hmm. uh, the other one, you take 5 damage. Okay. 
I'm assuming 16 hits you. Yeah. Well, okay. uh, hold on. So that's five. I think I got hit. So I took two damage from the Me. from the dart. Mm-hmm. I got hit once. For so five. I took five. For five. So, uh, right, okay. No, that's fine. It's just because that's when I start having issues with the connection. And, I just uh, want to make sure I'm on the same. Scar's way. damage still hasn't been recorded on Scar. I, it has. I'm putting it underneath negative 10. Well, I have negative uh, 10. Uh, uh, you know what? In that case, what I'm going to do over here is I'm literally just going to do this. Negative 10. There. 28. Okay, uh, we, which is, we, we can't affect those values at all. Only you. I, I might. I may no, give you guys no. access. This is a new thing. If, I'm no, we we can affect them. If I change my current hit points, it puts it on there. Really? Yeah, yeah. but I want to know. Under... But for me, it's... I put it underneath so I know how many I've taken, and I can perfect. See the this is great. Listen, we got to move on. We can't. Oh, okay. this, right. Um, roll to any acts weird sometimes. All right. Um, top of the round. Uh, you hear the Rocky talkie. Oh my god. You are surrounded. Things are terrible. Uh, uh, but I believe in you. Whatever you do, get that necklace back. I will pay double for that. A thousand gold. Uh, top of the round, Dar, you're up. Dar. Okay, I am going to kill... Take a swing. Uh, the goblin who's actually still is actually standing, the one that actually just stabbed me. Um, but I am going to actually use a feature of my my version of the class, which is I've got um, fight and spirit, which allows me to do so. Starting at so as a bonus action, so I'll do that as a bonus action. Yeah. So I'm going to get advantage uh-huh. on weapon attack rules there. So I'm then going... Temporary points. Amazing. Yep. All right. Roll, so, roll me some... Roll me a, a goblin attack. Yeah. So I'm going to swing that. Fuck. Yeah, that hits. Uh, so eight for that, that one. That kills him. Yep. I am then going to... Uh, oh, I don't know, I think this is where I've mucked up. Table. Yeah, I'm going to action search. Okay. All right. And I'm going to just take out the... And just attack the one that's actually lying at my feet. Gotcha. There. The one with the one HP point. Yeah. Roll it. Okay. Come on. I should stop dismissing my actual character sheet there. And arm is that one. Arm load, you're next. At t- with 12 hit? There. Early hits. Yep. There. <laughs> hit this a hit, this a hit. <laughs> it only hits because he had dropped his weapon. Yeah. His AC lowered. Okay. Uh, with that, I am then going to move because I've action surged. Uh huh. There, I then gain the benefit of another bonus act uh, and a possible. So I get another bonus action. Okay. There. So I am then going. To if I remember if I remember fire correctly, second wind is yes, that is correct. Is that action? So I am going to do one D. Where is that? So no, hold on. Can you just roll my roll my D ten? Or I'll do it. You basically roll all your hit there. I got you. Uh, come on. <laughs> now, it's always on the ones. I don't like those. All right, so you get five. Five right. plus the other five. Five plus cool. a temp five brings you back to ten. So Well, I've got five temporary hit points, and then I've got then the... Plus five. Yeah, so 20. All right. All right, there you go. That's a great act. That's a great turn. And he blocked up the, the people's fantastic. Yeah. Armalode, you're next. 
I could see you raring to like speed up there and start it, hitting. Honest, honestly, if I hadn't taken that rock damage, I'd be going after the Goblin King. But since I have, I guess I'm just going to go. Whoops. Bonus, bonus action healing. Like, Only 70 gold. I don't know how much gold I have. I don't know if that's a lot or 60. not. It's fine. No, no, yeah, it, gets, it gets deducted from your salary. At the end. Okay, so I'm going to do bonus action, then I'm going to do movement, then I'll do attack. Okay. Or or is bonus key a- is using key a bonus action? No. Okay. No. No. Key I- allows you to key allows you to use as a bonus action, like cool things. But okay. in this case, you're using your bonus action to heal up. So. Okay. Tell me how much I got back. Two D four plus four. Okay. Oh, sorry, it was 60 gold, not 70 gold. Mm -hmm. Uh, No, slash roll, not roll slash. It's it's dependent on the exact move you're using key for. Some is actual bonus action, some are actually actions you take. All right, not bad. Nine. Okay. Um, Over here, current hit points is now 23. And I move a small amount of my movement, okay, almost all of it, to get to here. If I can go around this guy without him attacking me, that's all the better. Uh, Only if you land here. Okay. One space. Otherwise, he'll take a uh, a swipe of opportunity. Only if I, oh, if I land here, he won't. Yes, correct. Okay. And, And you're still able to hit the boss. Yeah, okay. I will do that. Okay. I will try and hit him with my quarterstaff. You got it. Roll it. my nickel staff wasn't good enough. Roll I have it. to do it one-handed if I want to use Flurry of Blows, so I will do it one-handed. You can use, Give him you all can the quarter. You can't use Flurry of Blows anymore. I thought no, I just you asked did, you, you that. You use your bonus action. Use your bonus action for the healing. I said you could either yeah. do the healing or a bonus action to do I, all the cool monks. I asked if you could use key, if using key was a bonus action, and you said no. It's, it's not, right. It's dependent, certain things, depending on what you're using the key for, Mm -hmm. there's some stuff that is a actual, like, say, if I used, like, use key for magic. Let let, let me explain it real quickly. Key will allow you to use your bonus action to do flurry of blows or run faster or other things. So okay. bonus. So I'm action. just I'm just hitting him with the quarter stop then. Yeah. You got it. So hit it with the tool hands. Eight blood eight damage. damage. That hits and that hits. Eight. All right. Um, a total of eighteen so far. Moving on. Is there anything? I think that's at bonus action that er, perfect. Moving yeah, on. Stop. It is the um goblins' turns to uh attack. So the goblins <laughs> are going to uh let's see do one on dar one one on rack one on scar one on normal lad all right in that order that hits for five that doesn't hit that hits for five that doesn't hit so uh rack and armal lad did not get hit Everybody, uh, uh, which one was mine? You got Six. five. Uh, Dar was five. Dar got hit for five, and Scar got hit for five. Yeah. He's asking which attack roll was his. Oh, um, the first one, 20. Wait, wait, you're a witch, Rack? You're a Rack? Rack yeah. is... You're the second one, so the second one was only that hits. nine. Was I nine? did a reckless attack. Oh, he gets no. hit to the 20. Thank you, thank you for um, thank you for being fair about that. All right, so all of you got five attacks. Um, so there's five damage done, done and done. All right, so that is of course rounded down because you guys are both of you rounded down. Boom, to sing as as you're, you guys are uh, both barbarians. Um, Boosted. Hey, that's that's a negative stereotype. I'm a warrior. <laughs> uh, Narissa, it is your turn. What would you like to do? I love it that she's all by herself and there's nobody there. Yep. So she can technically just go poof. Yes. Go home. Take a nap. Camera she test gets... two. Help your friends. Do I really you have to? You can get sneak attack just by hitting anybody. 
They're all engaged, engaged, engaged. <laughs> Do they have to? <laughs> like, she's just literally like talking just, to herself. Yeah, she's remember, like kind of talking to herself. Like, do I have to? Under you know, remember time crunch? Yeah, I get a uh, sorry, guys. Uh, I'm on a time you're, crunch. You're, you're fine. So. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna go help Dar. Nice. With a sneak attack. Uh, nice. You have I advantage. Need, I I would have advantage. Yes. Um, I need the rapier back, please. Did I give it to you? You did, but I took out the long sword and it took it out apparently. Uh, you're what, Narissa? Yeah. yeah I did back. All right. Thank you. Thank you, gracious. No worries. GM. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Hareton's <laughs> fine. We're all fine here. Uh, da, 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 that's that's da, 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 where you da, 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 shoot da, da, da. the communications panel. We're all fine here. <laughs> Boring conversation, anyway. <laughs> all right, so um, rapier is dex based. You're definitely proficient. It does damage of one d eight. Dex based, and I think that's pretty much it. Proficient, da, 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 range, range five feet. You know, yeah. That, I mean, that's that's fine. It's we don't need to do that. Okay, try it out. With that bandage, that hits. And... Roll it. <laughs> you get a total of eleven. Yeah, he's gone. Uh, and... All right. I can cast it one more time. Action. Yeah, I cast the uh, the whales of of from the grave again. You sure can. So roll roll me one d six. As he as he's dying, ah, you could see like the whispers. Ah, ah, as you had, Taxicolin ah, the thing glows, the necklace glows as he gets hurt for another And I'm going to say, oh, you're talking about the Goblet Gate? Well, go back to him. <laughs> <laughs> with that, uh, let's see. Uh, with that, that on your turn, is it time? No, it is not time. It is definitely time. Um... The Goblin King is going to say, Oh, get her! Focus fire! He's using the legendary action. Um, these guys are going, are going to... No, they really can't. They're going to go after Rack instead. Get him! <laughs> So uh, two of them are are gonna go after Rack, and a, a third goblin is going. He can't throw. He's gonna throw it. No, he can't. He's engaged. Uh, yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna do it. All right. So two attacks against. Um, end of your turn. Two attacks against. Uh, da, 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 da. Rack for ten. Probably doesn't hit. One hits. Second one. One hits. Hit. One hits. Oh yeah, I'm gonna mess you up, man. You you rolled with that. Man. All my shit's good with advantage. Yeah. So you take five. Uh, you uh, take five. The other one. Two damage. Thank you. Uh, this goblin is going to disengage away from Armolad. So step up just by one. You get one yeah, attack of opportunity. Yep. Only him. Okay. Only him. That hits. Roll it. Can't I get one? Five. Five. He has two HP left. Two. I'm sorry. Don't I get one? Because he. Oh, no. because he stepped. He never like left towards your me. Threat yeah. Zone. yeah. He's, uh, so he takes a hit and still with his dying or with his hit, go rolls one more scimitar attack with, against you with advantage. 17. That hits. You take another two damage. Oh, what a, uh, I'm what down a, 11 hit points. Um. That is his. That is the Goblin King's uh, second legendary action. 
Scar, it is your turn. And then it is my bo the boss Goblin King's turn. Yeah, I'm going to hit him. Do it. Hit him, hit him good. Natural 20. Not Only lucky. if you did reckless attack. Did you want to do reckless attack? Or every melee attack you gets advantage? I say sure. yes. Sure, why not? Yes. You're a barbarian. This is what you do. You hit him with that. With uh, Make sure that you click on the 26, because I think you get um, all of you died. Yeah, it, it added the extra die. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. That's, oh yeah, 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 it did. That's yeah. 12 points of damage. 12. Nice. Very nice. So that's a total of 34 on him. He's getting. He's looking bloodied, guys. He's looking very hurt. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, take that. Um, as as you pull your axe out, you had to pick it off of the ground and you swing it and you pull it out like, oh, it hurt a lot. Um, I think that's uh, your turn. Um, bonus. How, how is how is he looking? I mean, literally, is he like fading? Is he? I don't think know, he'll really... survive past next round. Okay, I I try to. Grab his amulet. As a bonus action? Yeah. That might be a major action. Ah. That's an attack, I think. Yeah, yeah that's that's, that's a major that's a major action. If I if if I I if I swung. I'm gonna allow one. this. I'm gonna allow this. Uh yeah. roll me. You, you yeah. actually know you swung two handed as your battle axe, so oh, yeah, I did? Yeah, yeah, you yeah, don't yeah, have yeah, a free yeah. hand. That's oh. right. Unless you have a third hand. Moving on, the boss is going to now that they when uh as he's uh he's just gonna attack you twice. He's pissed. Oh I'm gonna get you. Oh that hurt. Thanks for distracting him. <laughs> uh where is it? Where is it? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, this needs to disappear, that's why. And this needs to go there. Scimitar twice. And I say to Rack, you can finish him off, right? 14, does that hit you? No, wait a minute, wait a minute. 14. Yeah, that's 23. Does... Yes, it. Well, so does that the hits 23. her AC. Her AC is the same. Yeah, she did yeah. a reckless attack, so it's 23. Oh, you're right. Yeah, there we go. So you get hit for five. All right. So five um, or is it two? Two. It's two. It's two. Two. Two, two because you're, you're raised. The GM uh, tells you how much damage he does, and you, you need to know your own defenses to counter those. Okay. So you are using range, which means rage, which means you take half damage around the town. Okay. All right. I did. Thank you. And then um, it is now Rack's turn. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That was only one. You said both. The other one missed. The other one oh, missed. the other one missed. Okay. You rolled seven and nine, so Got that's it. not enough to even hit even me. <laughs> All right, Rack is going to go. Yeah, duck. And the same, same, same thing. Fantastic. Oh, you didn't even use a reckless attack this round. Uh, do you want a reckless attack this round or not? No. Okay, so roll your damage. Get him. Uh, as you're swinging, the goblin boss grabs, a, grabs the goblin in front of him, puts him in front of there uh, one. Switch. There is no uh, goblin in front of him. Uh, wait, nearby. Five feet. It needs to be in five feet within him. Ah, uh, fuck. Uh, the <laughs> bonus, as ten, a bonus ten, action. Oh, yeah. Ten. Bonus action was his last time. It's you know my round now, bitch. He, sorry. You're, you're fine. It's fine. I forgot. So he grabs, it. he grabs fine. Scar and puts the... <laughs> it's fine. <sighs> yes, he gets hit for how much? All right. Uh, 13. 13. 13, so 47. He's getting very close to bloodied. Um, anything else you want to do? I love... I have a bonus action, but I don't have anything to do with that, so yeah. Like that. All right. In that case, um, Dar, top of the round. Uh, the little voice says, Okay, this is good. I think you have him on the ropes. I seem to have hired the right group. Finish him.
It's your turn. Um, John? Yeah, John is uh, muted, it's I think. Oh, sorry, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, so I'm going to move up to the Goblin Boss. There. Um, I think... How many attacks of opportunity do you want to take? I think you'll take two opportunity attacks. Yeah, sure. All right, do it. He never leaves the other goblins. First, I oh, uh, only him. take one. Uh, only one. Only no, one. because what? this means that this guy here can attack, and and moving here means that this guy gets. No, attack. that's me. You're moving me. Oh, which one is? Don, Don is the other other dragon. I moved. Oh, nobody moved. Uh, yeah. So, so I, he I, moved no, from I moved. here. You're correct. Right, you only get one. You only get one yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So um. Mm -hmm. 26 uh, misses. All right. Moving on. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to then, as Mok as starts walking up, he's going to cut with an uppercut with the longsword there. And Don't forget the necklace. <laughs> It'll be easier to remove from his corpse. <laughs> True. True. There <Neither> are. <laughs> Uh, that hits. Swing. Uh, seven. That's yeah. mighty. He's at 52. That's even one-handed. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh, all second right. Second one. I've done action search. I've done one thing. Spirit. Yeah, that's... Good. That's my turn. From my, from my dead cold hands <laughs> <laughs> all right um dar or uh arm armalod armalod you're next all right well first we're going to hit him with a long stick Roll it. and we're going to miss him with a long stick that misses we're, we're going to use a key point to unleash a flurry of blows the stick knocks it easily, exposing his under area, and he's moving very slowly and painfully uh, as you start going boom, 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 boom. Bonk. Bonk. Wow. That's a lot of mediocre rolling. Oh, no. The, uh, as you're, you're hitting, I mean, you're hitting straight so on. It seems to have no impact whatsoever. He's ignoring. He's like, <laughs> that tickles. And just completely ignores <laughs> you. Um, arm, arm a lad. Anything else you would like to? That's bonus action. As long action. as I move, stay within his uh, yes, five feet of him. Correct. I can move yes. around him. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm going to open up a spot for somebody else to come in here. So I'll that's just... a good opportunity. That's a good uh, thing. Uh, and by moving there, you now give somebody else advantage. Uh, Right Would that be this. Narissa? Could be. Uh, so, so actually, if you move to the spots up right of it, you give yeah, two yeah. people at the advantage. No, you only give one. Oh, you're right. Oh. You're right. If you move here, you'll give two people advantage. Mm. Boom. Done and done. All right. Goblins turns. Um, they're going to attack. Uh, they're going to attack Rack, Scar, and, Scar. and Dar. Rack, Scar, and Dar. In that order. Sounds like a really weird band name. Rack, I know. I'm Scar, sorry, Dar. guys. I should say your names. Rack, Scar, and Dar. I mean, that Those is... Those are names. <laughs> <laughs> Does the 14 hit you? Which one? Uh, Rack first. I'm sorry. Uh, Does the 14 hit Scar? Yes, because I have 14. And um, 21. All right. So Scar takes five damage. Rounded. Oh. Scar takes yeah. five damage, rounded down, and Dar takes five damage, rounded down. And there is no more goblins left. So, it is now Narissa's turn. Come on, Narissa. Yay! Followed by Scar. Scar, you're on deck. I see tons of goblins on the screen still. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so no just Carlos, just reconfirming, what was, the or so what was the order of the attack? For the goblins, who got attacked first? It Rock. was Rack, Rack, and then Scar, 
and, and then, then myself. Dark. So I, I, I've taken them five, another five. Okay. Uh, and what are we? What are we saying, Goblin Boris? Uh, oh. Oops. So, um, <laughs> the bosses, uh, they all took their turn. Ah. They all, they, um, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Everything's fine. Narissa, you're next. What would you like to do? Um, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. uh I'm going to come up. Yeah, I'm gonna come up and help with the boss. All right, one, two, three. You're gonna get an opportunity attack against you. Yeah, I noticed. Cause I'm going by somebody. Mhm. Mm I mean, you could go into the water, mm -hmm. and if you roll a uh, higher than a thirteen, um, something that I decide you could get through. Or otherwise, you take the opportunity attack. What's your choice? I'd rather take the opportunity to attack. All right, cool. Um, in nineteen, you take five damage. And because he does that, I get the instant. Uh, yeah, hit you on do. Him. <laughs> That's why I did it. Is. That's why I did Please it. Describe this in detail. So, yeah, please. So as um, as I get hit, I automatically throw out a flaming attack wall up against this um goblin and he has yeah. to make a dexterity save throw and or take 2d10 fire got it yeah. yeah here we go uh 13 your spell dc is what my spell Zero? dc what is your spellcasting ability um, as a... Charisma, I think. My charisma is at a 3. Or a 16. No, no, no. Like, for... Yeah, we're going to say it's charisma-based then. Okay. Yeah, 16. Uh, hang on. Uh, 16. Charisma-based. Okay, so there we go. So it's really a spell save of 13, which meets it. Sorry. Uh, or half as much. So yeah. roll to d10. Roll Given he's only got like two hit points left. Yeah. Oh, man. That thing's barbecued. <laughs> it still doesn't matter. It, it, it's still there. there there's this a flame here, wall right here. Yeah, the guy that hits you gets completely burnt and rolls on the ground. Um, and the I'm giggling boss. as I'm going by. So. Yeah, that's <laughs> hot. Before anything else, the <laughs> goblin boss is now going to use his reaction as well as like, you say when I say you die. He gets back up for one HP. <clears throat> However, you have now advanced onto the, as he's finishing saying this, you get up to him. Yes. Roll it. So, yes, I have my advantage stuff. So, we get to roll this. Pushy. So... Oh, that's it. Oh, yeah. Woo! Yeah! That definitely it. And she does this. Now it's all Bring him back to where he belongs. <laughs> 16, wow, that's... 16, 16... Oh, my gosh, he's, so, he's barely hanging on to life. As he looks down and... You, you pull back your rapier, it went almost to the hilt into his stomach. And uh, uh, I, I, I'm looking at him going, Hi, did you miss me? <sighs> He's going to use his last legendary action because of that. <laughs> Don't taunt the bear. Kill them. Kill them all. They all take two attacks against. Scar against Rack, Scar, and Dar. Two wait, attacks wait, wait, wait. against Wait a minute. Two attacks. How many attacks against me? Two, two against two. each. Two against okay. each person. Two okay. each. Uh, they they look desperate and are angry and trying to protect and like they know. Help the boss. Natural twenty. You take ten damage. 
Wait, 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 wait. Even the crispy body. None of the heads. He's not dead. <laughs> He's not dead. So, um, Rack takes 15 total damage as this little goblin is just going nuts. And now you can see nice. how they're able to overtake. Five, seven. Seven, nine. How many did I get? Uh, you're you're next. Here. These two are against okay. you next. Uh, Miss. Natural one, 14. So you get, uh, your AC is 14. That means that hits it, beats it, or? Yeah. 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 So you take hits. a total of five, which is only two. Mm -hmm. Um. Next is? Dar. Dar. Me. Dar is... Oh, no. Yeah. yeah. No. Dar gets hit for... 16 hits, 14 yeah. maybe, Messy. maybe. Messes. All right, so you get hit for exactly five. Five. Okay. That is uh, their desperation move. All three legendary actions are used up. Narissa's turn is over. And Scar, now it's mine. mine. You're up. Oh, yeah, I'm done. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit him with my two-handed. Actually, no, I'm going to... I'm going to hit him with my one hand. Reckless? How about you grab the necklace and pull it out of it? At the, that's why I'm doing my one handed hitting and then grabbing at the same time. Those are both actions, though. So you can either do one or the other. I'm going to allow this. I'm going to allow this. Oh, do it. Okay. okay. Do it. Well, is that the 18? Oh, the 18? Um, yeah. yeah, that hits. Roll your damage. Great. Now roll me a strength. Um, uh, strength saving throw athletics, yeah. yes. Uh, strength saving throw, yeah, it's the same as athletics. Athletics, athletics fine, perfect. 14 versus he's athletics, his he's like so tired, and and he tries to reach out for it, and you just you're both struggling with that, and you just rip it out of his hands. He's dying. How do you want to do this? Die. <laughs> <laughs> That's simple enough. Die. <laughs> with a loud thud, he falls in front of you. The rest of the little dudes. They're, they they scatter to the winds. No, I know. I get at least two of them. That's fine. <laughs> because I attack once, Absolutely. and one gets an attack of a Absolutely. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna shift out of this scene now. Here, as you finish off this, as we finish off the scene. Um, the ra the the little uh, rocket talks. Good, you got them all. I will meet you back here for your reward. Your mission is complete. Um, on a metal level, the cut to you are looking around, and uh, as this is going on, uh, Rack. No, he's off, just killing off the last few of the dudes. One of you guys looks around. There's loot's little pile. And there's another. I would be Narissa. <laughs> Four hundred gold worth of miscellaneous coin purses, gear, etc., for you all. Uh, the scene fades back. Uh, a different tavern. This is a a new tavern, not within the uh, the Rat Catchers Guild. The Rat Catchers Guild. Uh, Spencer, once again. Uh, oh, wow! I knew I had heard the right people. You've all succeeded fantastically. Tell me. Uh, of course, uh, the, sorry, the, the the reward, there you go. You're, you're pushed um, a thousand gold. 1,900 did bring, gold. Did you bring the artifact? You mean this? Yes, that. Give it Why to Why do me. you need it? Uh. The research. It's an archaeological thing. You saw the power that he did. We must keep these away from people like that. Uh, I have the uh, thousand as promised for it. I, I hand it to Rack. Uh, I, I'm sure I heard 
that you give us extra for that. Yes, yes. that was extra. He did. I am I doubling. To rack. I'm doubling. He's I doubling. Handed it to rack. We were originally getting 500 for it. He's giving us a thousand. Right. Okay. So Rack is like, yeah, you have the money. Here's the thing. Thank you. Oh. I'm just making sure we're not getting shortchanged, that's all. <laughs> this would not be you would not get as much on the open market. This is uh I my group get... of uh, my group of concerned citizens want to keep things like this safe. Uh, so that they not uh, upset the population like this. Yeah, you have been very, um, very, very good in 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 your actions. Does Lots does your people... name have a group? I mean, does your group have a name? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and actually, honest to tell you the truth, that glitch was me, not my character. Gotcha. Yes, uh, of course, but uh, if you are more, if you are interested in more of these jobs, I think you would be quite the people to work. Much better organization than this uh, rat and mouse nonsense that you are doing. He slides a uh, a card, <laughs> business card. A business card and all this, it just shows like a little weird symbol with a and p next to it look me a up p. in the man the grocery store arcanum pansophical yeah i know yeah um i always wanted to go to Imon. that is where feng used to serve before he became a hero oh my god stop with your stories <laughs> <sighs> Let the dead die! Why don't you? The hero, true heroes never die. The legend oh. says that Feng is still in the woods, protecting the people. And of this course, is the reason there, why the dead isn't dead. There's a very old half walk on. God damn it, my ears are burning again. And with that, with that words of inspiration, the camera zooms in on Rack as he's recalling the tales of, like, look of inspiration. Tales of Feng and Jericho. When they and chance. And, and, and with that, the screen goes black. Music, montage, quick credits. Everybody's happy. You guys got your, your gold. Invite, invitation to Iman, where there's lots of advanced cool shit at this run town area. Eh. <laughs> By the way, that's 460 gold each. Is that a lot? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a day salary is about one, uh, one gold. One gold. So okay. you made a year's worth of wages in this mission. Cool. But actually, good. more than a year. So, uh, mm -hmm. year and a half, but, month, almost. But for me, it was the thrill of the battle. <laughs> As a uh, montage. Uh, Scar, Scar, remember, you owe me a couple of uh, gold. Don't forget that. <laughs> We're having these little after after scene vignettes as Excuse the credits me? are rolling past. You, you remember, remember, we, we've been playing games. You owe me money. Oh, I don't play. remember. I have a dice set if you want to play games. Yeah. You know, I got a, a dragon set. Yeah. <laughs> um, I uh, I have to pay off sixty of that gold for um, the potion I used. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep track of uh, little answers like this. Yeah. So, Will, uh, this is our level three mission. You will probably, you're leveling up. But next time we see you, we'll be in Iman at level five. Woohoo! Working with the Arcana Pensophagal. What? Sadly, I'm not I'm level nine. Organization. Sadly, I'm this. not level nine yet. Because level nine would have been great. <laughs> We're only going to five at this point. I know, so. but level nine would be great. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're level gonna start a new set later. of adventure. We're gonna start a new. <laughs> oh, on this note, so check this out. We're gonna start a new set of adventures. It's going to be taking primarily elsewhere besides Yvonne. There is a, th uh, this new area has a lot of prehistory lore that you, all of your characters, especially ties in place to the 
many bad guys that you will be facing. <laughs> um, you can catch up on this really, really, really easily by watching a very, very entertaining show on Prime Video, 30-minute increments of a cartoon called The Legend of Vox Machina. Yeah, I'll pass. The... I am not <laughs> watching anything that's with the League of Legends. They're not League I of Legends. I saw it's Arcane about. the other day. I, I that, 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 that's not League of Legends, though. That, that's, that's critical that's, rule. That's critical yeah. rule. We're just doing it's you know the where all this lore and stuff is based off of his critical role they have literally uh they have just 30 minute in uh like a quick season of eight episodes 30 yeah. minutes each mm -hmm. on prime video they are incredibly good i highly recommend you you check mm -hmm. them out the first two epi the first episode the first tour is like a one just like how we did right now one quick little adventure to introduce the group mm -hmm. just like that okay, okay, what, what is the name what is legend, the name? legend, oh, legend, legend of fox mark come on a V O X, Legend of V O X, Machina spelled M A C H I N A. Machine with an A instead of an E. Oh, okay. Well, it's Legend Legend of the Voice Machine. Yeah, literally what it is. I mean, mm -hmm. that's why all this shit started because you know some big group of voice actors decided to do D and D on TV mm -hmm. on on Twitch, and it was like everybody's like. Holy shit, D and D is fucking awesome. Mm. So it is. By the way, Carlos is sponsored by Amazon Prime. You can go. <laughs> oh, use your Amazon Prime uh, subscription to, to here. subscribe here. It's free. You just subscribe to us, and then all right, I'm done horn. Yeah. <laughs> so, on that note, right down on that street corner, and I, I think we should do 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 do. Uh, what must it? Uh, you should probably change the system with all the all the shenanigans going on with the with the with Hasbro and Wizards of the Cursed. Mm. Uh, what? what? There's they're well, the talking about no a new OGL. I think that's is that's something that will be better done afterwards. You know, not on stream. Yeah, that's that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's, it was awfully mean of me to 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 bring this up mm. in the middle of the thing. I should no. probably it's, discuss it's, this in the privacy of our, our own conversations. It, so, in the privacy you of our lounge. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, thank you all for coming today. <laughs>